Hello, everyone. Stream is now live. Uh, we've been running friendlies for the next half hour or so. Um, just letting people know who watch the YouTube VOD. And I'm going to be muting the mic until bracket starts. Thank you. Josh's mic.
Right, I see. Yeah. Well, it's, oh, the other mic's gonna be like the fucking. Hold on. Mute that mic. Yeah, that one deserves to be muted. I don't think it's detecting anything though. Oh, all right. Okay. Yeah, we're good. I think we're all good now. Okay. How's it uh, going, Brick? Not too bad. We got round one. Round one. Who's who? Are we? Oh, we got a recent Shane yep. on stream. So Shane is a newcomer here, I believe. I may be wrong, but I don't think I've seen him. At the very least, I don't know what character he plays. No, a reef probably will be seeing the uh, the inkling to start. We got of course, got to go the uh, the lib left inkling. The lib left, the based inkling. The based inkling. The Smash the, the patriarchy. The A cab inkling. We got a reef. Don't forget to also transition to non camera mode. Oh word. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff to do that. Up. How how do? Also, is this the mouse? Or is this not the mouse? Is there no mouse? Oh, it's all touchpad? Okay, it's all up to you, man. Take it away. I hate touchpad. While we're just working on the initial uh, technical setup here. Oh, okay, so Link coming in. So Arif playing Inkling, Shane playing Link. This is an interesting matchup. I feel like it's going to be a little rough for Link. I think he kind of gets uh, danced around by Inkling a little bit, but you want to talk about a kill power differential. Inkling well known for struggling to find that kill, even at even at fairly high percents. And uh, Link, I mean, maybe not the first peop uh, the first person people think of when they think of like just you know a character with very high kill power. You might be thinking of like a heavy, uh, closer to you know a Ganon or a Bowser or something. But yeah, but as we learn, has the strongest fully charged smash attack. Uh, it's true in the game. Yeah. And I mean, just in general, like his forward air, his dash attack, his F tilt, his F smash, his up smash, his up B, everything on this character kind of kills a little bit earlier than you think it would, so. And he can kind of confirm into those things. At the beginning of the game, we really thought they were kind of more unsafe than uh, they were, so no. people initially thought he was the worst link, but now with like Z-Drop bomb combos and whatnot, uh, some of the better links are really setting up into their win conditions, but unfortunately not going to be able to make it back there. Yep, losing your stock is definitely not a win condition, but... What I was gonna say before uh, is, you know, even when he was down, you know, 55 to 100 or whatever it was, uh, Link, you know, can really bring that back. Yeah, yeah. Also, looking at the bracket here, I think we may have gotten something slightly wrong. You see, I think his tag is V1 Legacy. Oh, V1 Legacy. I may be. But anyway, Shane um, Hoop. Shane Hoop. Like you know, his, his, his human name. You say V1? Yeah, I believe so. Okay, so, moving on. With you the know, kill. Great example of what I'm talking about there. Forward air, just killing no questions asked at 100. It's the kind of thing where Link can really start laying on that percent very fast and... Uh, fast and dirty. Oh, yeah. And even if he's 70% behind, it doesn't really mean much as long as Inkling can't find that kill. But Inkling's so good at dominating these early percents. Such a neutral base character. Oh, absolutely. All these mini exchanges. Link not really having the frame data kind of contest in the neutral. He has to kind of get his neutral wins from a little outside her range and then kind of confirm off that the arrow and the boomerang and mm -hmm. whatnot. You got to think Link's starting these stocks at like 60. You just gotta good bomb recovery, though. Solid, yeah. That's the thing, too, is at these kind of high percents, Link can just kind of recover in a very hard-to-stop way by just blowing himself up to the other side oh, of the stage. Oh, but Inkling can stop the recovery by blowing him up. Correct. Oh, bomb for bomb, pound for pound. Stole his whole flow. Stole his whole flow, soldier boy. Dre. Alrighty. Oh, hopefully he makes it back. No, yeah, he's got he's got he's the awareness. Off stage. He saved his jump. Doesn't tack, but thankfully not gonna get punished for that. Okay, so Reef looking to tack on as much of this extra credit as he can. 34 is not a bad start, but again, you're gonna really need a bigger lead than that to feel comfortable against Link. Yeah, V1 Legacy though, any uh, tilt or you know, dash tackle kill at this percent, probably any smash attack. Oh, yeah. Just needs to find a small opening here and he takes the stock. Even a cheeky up B or something. Oh, okay. unless it sends that way yeah. across stage, yeah. <clears throat> Not quite what you're looking for, but no. He's starting to get this momentum going in his favor. Doing a good job of walling him out at this high percent, not letting him get too much extra credit. Yeah, I think... Sorry, go ahead. No, no, you go ahead. I wants to start the next stock, just uh, relatively fresh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, think, I think it really is just a matter of if you can start using those projectiles to your advantage, that's kind of the only thing Link's got going for him in the neutral here. And he can't engage and kind of poke from those longer ranges that Inkling oh, can't really. Trading Boomerang for Splat Bomb, not a, not a good deal, yeah, personally. Yeah, that's a projectile you don't want to mess with, for and sure. And the percent is starting to pile up. Inkling at 160, but... Nah, Ooh, going it. deep! Oh. And brings himself back it. while killing Inkling! Oh my goodness, the bomb recoveries have been on point. Yeah, it shows what I know. That is not going to do it. And Jumps fact, over the down smash. Woo. This might be the start of something here if you can put together a few hey, strings. You know, he only needs to get him to 70, 80%, and then a cheeky F smash read or something like that. Something off stage with a forward air. Oh, yeah. Inkling stock is done, but. 
Oh, 170%. Yeah, he's in this ledge trap situation. Yeah. 180. I think he may struggle to be. kill, but I don't think she struggles this much. She'll be finding something relatively soon. Uh, uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. I, I don't know about that kill screen, but that'll do it. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny. I thought he like, killed himself. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I, I didn't think Inkling had any moves that hit from there, but. Yeah, hit from behind Link. Yeah. Well, you know, game one. Pretty close game one. Gonna okay. go to a reef. Yeah, going to a reef, but. Very, very, uh, very doable for Link here. So this will be best of three, as so will all the matches until we get up to losers finals, winners finals, and grants. Will be the only best of fives of the night. So uh, V1 looking at one more game here potentially to save his winners bracket life. I think he was definitely playing super strong there. Oh, uh, yeah. It's 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 pretty tight relatively. Yeah, so this isn't hopeless. That was, uh, that was a game that, you know, a couple offstage interactions go differently, and we're talking at a, an 0-1 instead of a 1-1. Yeah, and counterpicking back to FD, uh, I don't really know the Link meta, but I guess, you know, platforms kind of give Inkling space to run away from his item play. Uh, this may be forcing her to Perhaps. kind of level on the same plane, can call out jumps a little better with forward air. Fair enough. I think this is a little weird. Uh, like, not necessarily even a bad counterpick. It's just like I feel like FD is such a polarizing stage that it's hard to tell. Uh, what exactly is going to happen in this matchup, but probably I think I agree with you. I think the projectile, projectile characters tend to like FD. Less and than generally, just yeah. the whole space. Exactly. You get the horizontal covered with your projectile, and then you just read the jump. Oh, yeah. Oh. But, yeah. The text and the down smash. You know, oh. I didn't want to say, like, oh, but roller lol, you know, like roller. But, but roller? But, like, but it's kind of, you know, You've suddenly. only got one plane to run away from roller? Correct. Can't. So there's, there's, a, there's a world where... FD is uh, slightly scary just because oh, of Oh, Boomerang saving him from punishing from the grab. And that almost killed. This is what I'm talking about, man. This character just kills me. Uppy is crazy strong for an out of shield option. That, yep. that goes dummy. And huge, too. Mm -hmm. and I, I don't think it's that slow. I don't know the frame data on it off the top of my head, but I think it's uh, decently quick for how well it kills. Yeah, the only problem with it is that, that, was that a few great amazing tech recovery. against the yeah. uh, stage there. But uh, as I was saying, the only problem with it is that if you do shield one hit, you yeah. are safe for the rest of it. So. You can charge like a, a, you can almost half charge and then smash in his face once yeah, you block it. Very funny. But gonna find the first kill with the Nair here and gonna answer right back with the aerial of his own. And we're in an even 0-0 zero, zero second stock. Yeah. Hey, so far FD is making it a lot more volatile. We're seeing a lot more scrapping, I think, than we did in that first game. Just yeah. in each other's face all the time. Gonna, gonna start painting him up a little bit, turn him into a modern art masterpiece. Yeah, one thing about this, uh, this based inkling is I really don't like their color of paint. Oh, no. The mental damage on that has got to be excruciating for the opponent. No one likes to be that weird neon lime green. You're not even like Shrek green. You're like... No. Ugh. Stomp? No knee? Oh. No knee? No knee? No knee? Not true? Not knee. Oh, into the... Nair into the bomb, but nothing after that. That could have been an amazing string. I mean, Link's got those... Uh, Insane Z drop bomb infinites that he can do on people, but mm, I, I feel like Inkling isn't one of those people. <laughs> Probably not. And uh, regardless, they are they're pretty tight. But he doesn't need it. After all, we saw him taking a stock with Nair of all things. But 75, you're looking at, you're almost starting to look you're, at kill yeah, percent. A FD a has nice those read. small blast zones too, side and up. Running off with forward air and catching a high get up, that could be an easy stock. But Arif gonna keep him honest here and make him earn it. Yep. Not giving him any easy openings. And very patient playing against these projectiles. Not rushing in too much and getting caught by them. Just patiently holding shield and waiting for his openings. Absolutely what you like to see, right? I mean, zoners are just... Ooh. But that random up in neutral won't be punished landing because of the landing hitbox. And, and the that's gonna roller. Kill. Amazing. But like I was saying, you know, zoners just as an archetype are built on throwing out a bunch of projectiles, getting you frustrated, and then forcing you to make some stupid choice, right? So yeah. if you can keep your cool, just, you know... Repeatedly do the the uh, the optimal thing. Don't just rush in and be, get be like interact with me. That's, interact with me. That's what they want you to do. So, Arif doing oh. a good job of waiting it out so far. But when they, they do like get to close to each almost other, almost finding the stock off that down tilt. But exactly, fortunately, it popped up a little too high. Probably dying up there. Oh okay. booyah! <laughs> Not quite the kill confirmed. Die but, the oh, oh my! Yeah, everything this character has kills, man. I swear. It's nuts. There we go. Speaking up the out of of shield. All right. Caught I mean, him, caught him throwing that fair out. Very unsafely. 52%, not the worst thing in the world. 80? A little bit worse. A, li a little bit worse, but... 90? Honestly, the 80% the difference right now between these characters is roughly the difference in their kill percents Ooh. as well. But 120? Uh, now now we're in the danger zone. Now this is bad. 
This, yeah. is, this is where a splat this, bomb this really little, goes. He's going to have to go for the bomb recovery, and, and he doesn't have enough time, it, unfortunately. Yeah, this so, doesn't quite work out the way he wants. Yeah, we're going to see a clean 2-0 from Arif, but yeah. uh, B1 Legacy doing a fantastic job for what I think is his debut at this week league. Per, uh, maybe not, actually. Maybe but, not, perhaps, but, but... Not a stomp, by any means. No. And Arif, you know, uh, uh, a regular champion or top two finisher, so... Yeah. Doing very, this very well against them, pat yourself on the back. Oh, yeah. Now that, now that I think of it, I think I have seen this tag before. It was just when it was Shane. It didn't ring any bells. Probably not. No. <laughs> All right. Well, that's going to be us for the time being. At least we got to play our own set. Yeah, we got to go play a match. This is uh, definitely not updated. I see what Arif took the set to. Facts. The mice is not connected either. I don't know what the score is, so I'm just putting zero zero. <laughs> bop, 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 bop. <laughs> what is going on? Flow, flow. Nope. I'm gonna ask Justin after this. <laughs> Nothing's updated. Uh, Josh's mic is unmuted. Oh, you okay, okay. Um, in terms of updating scores, just these, right? Yeah. So you go to the click on the name, or you can click on these things here. Mm -hmm. Double click on this thing, and you can change it. Yeah. Cool. I have no idea what. 
we just have to. Okay, it looks good to me. And then when you're done changing here, here make sure to hit transition. transition. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you're all good. Awesome, thank you. All right. Oh, we're already at 2-1. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah, definitely nothing impossible to come back from, but if Kazuya keeps getting those uh, big hits like this, it's definitely... Oh man, and you gotta watch it. earlier than you think. Yeah, you gotta watch out for... Uh, Yikes, and there it is. There it is already. This <laughs> is very late, so. <laughs> What's the score? Huh? The score. That was the first game. That was the first game, okay. Watching uh, the the beginning of that match, but from what I saw, it looked very scary. For yeah. For, for I think uh, one thing Captain Cruz got to watch out for though is those explosive side beams, especially off ledge. Mm -hmm. um, got to yeah. be ready to shield those. He obviously. definitely likes to uh, come up from ledge with those side beams, and you will eat a lot of damage. Yeah. Right and it goes a lot farther than you think. Yeah. Sometimes I like try to bait it and like dash away from ledge, but I'm it's, I'm still within range. I'm like, yeah. oh my goodness. His roll and jump from ledge aren't that great either, so mm -hmm. honestly, catching him at ledge, he'll be at a significant disadvantage. Yep. Especially against ZSS of all characters. For sure. Super good at ledge trap. I'm gonna keep my eyes on No stage counter fix. He's running it back. Oh, gets the bounce pass into the up beat. Not gonna be enough to kill, obviously, but definitely getting a lot of damage. Oh, and the oh, unfortunate down air. Goes for the buffer down air. Oh, that happens to me all the time when I'm playing Bowser. I try jumping up and doing a down air to hit ledge, and then they, uh, they hit you with that ledge trump, and then down into down the blast zone you go. And yeah. One of the most unfortunate mechanics in this game. Yeah. Oh, doesn't dash forward with the uh, speed air. But he does finally kill on Kazuya. Yeah. He's still he's back in this just like that. As if the SD never happened. But, uh, oh my goodness. They're coming down with the downer. And, uh, I think a huge... Wow. Jeez, just like that, the stock is gone. And what we saw there before with the forest match, a big difficulty 0-6 damage might have is breaking that armor in some of his moves. 0-2 yeah. doesn't do enough damage with a lot yeah. of moves. Yeah, exactly. Especially like when DSS is like, looking for those nares. Yeah. Those don't do a lot. They do a lot in the long run, but not when you're trying to armor three moves. Exactly. Or should I say break the armor? Oh! God! That sounds good. I did like uh, Captain Crew avoiding the punish and just jumping behind and not For trying sure. to really challenge it at all. Definitely yeah, sometimes you just gotta step away from the situation. Yeah. Kill Kazuya. Oh, and then go for the side B, as we said. Oh, but down we will that's gonna do take it. Especially with the rage yeah. drive, and that's gonna be like so. Imagine how much closer this, like, this game would have been if he didn't like this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's unfortunate, but not when you can really oh. do well on it. It happens. It happens. Nah. Like playing someone doesn't play me in bracket. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, where are all the team folks so close hey, together? Oh, uh, nah, you and me after Which that. read of How many yeah. reads is he gonna go? Honestly. Whoa! Uh, I think you're playing out of Good game. What? I think you're playing Adam. Yeah, that should be uh, not very fun at all. Where do you go? I was going to say Atum. 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 Alright, so. Yeah, uh, man, if I somehow win that There's so, so many teams though. Bro, I was actually scared of getting a smoking book in my game. And oh, that's just making a comeback. I can imagine that's especially helpful with a uh, character like Kazuya, right? Yeah, probably. I mean, I assume you don't have too much match experience. Not too much, no. I don't have much against Mewtwo no, either, so hey, you know, I'll, 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 I'll gladly take it. That's, that's why you got to play mid years, right? Gotta, you got to be your own innovator. That's the prize factor. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, so we got that. Uh, we got Diddy Dank and Romentos coming up. Shoot, we'd love to see it. So that's going to be, most likely, it's going to be Bowser Clouds is going to be the matchup there. What do you think of that matchup? 
Uh, well, I would have assumed Diddy can't play Diddy, but... You'd think I, so. I guess Bowser, okay. Yeah, he's Bowser got the mix-up. He's got the mix-up. Uh, both very good characters. Big aerials. Oh, yeah. Uh, lots of good out-of-shield options. I feel like Todd probably has the edge, just because... You moves think so? I think are a little safer. Yeah, I think Bowser might struggle slightly with just like that, uh, you know, Claw's gonna back air wall and just gonna yeah. try and keep you out, but... Bowser might have an edge guarding edge there, because yeah. he has the forward air that just covers so much space. Yeah. And Bowser's probably not getting edgeguarded by Cloud, just no. realistically, unless you get like a nair backer or something. Though, I mean, obviously, so... Uh, I've seen it, but it's definitely a little tougher. So, these guys do actually uh, practice together, uh, you know, just on Mondays and whatnot. Right on. And I've definitely seen Bermento's catch that Bowser recovery with Cloud down air a couple right, times. Right, run off stage, jump back up, yep. down air. And it's, uh, and there's it's pretty that devastating. Shield option coming in. So, let me just figure to transition this. Oh, yeah. So, we get the overlay. Nice. Oh boy, so that's not quite set up the way you wanted to, but the names are there. We can see it. We can we see got it. Though. It's uh, I think this is now winners round two. Okay, I will say Diddy Dick is doing a great job of SGIing those uh, cloud up, up specials. He's, got, he's only getting hit by the first hit, being able to punish the, the landing. Yep. Pretty effective stuff. Sorry, I'm covering things up here. You know what? It's winner's round one. Wait. It's, winner, it's winner's round one. Just, let's just pretend it's winner's round one. So, yeah. yeah, one thing Diddy Dank is really good at, too, is those flame breaths. Like, he's so on point with those, and you just see him, like, yeah. forcing people to eat 50 out of nowhere, but... Yeah, well, that's like a pretty good way to <laughs> yeah. make Bowser eat. eat Speaking of eating, yeah, like yeah. 34 or something. Cloud limit side B. Great yeah. move. Uh, not quite as strong as you might want it to be sometimes, but very, like, basically lagless, so... Yeah, very I great. Mean, a lot of the times cool. when you're going to be using it, it's going to be like in an offstage situation. So in which case, yeah. In which it's case, it doesn't really matter. More than strong enough, but yeah. forcing the air dodge with that forward air. That's, that's a bit. That's just tough. I, don't yeah. think, he, I, thought he, I think he probably thought he had more resources than he had there. Yeah, maybe he thought he still had his jump or something, but it's yeah. just also like, what do you do? If Bowser's running, if you're Cloud, Bowser's running yeah. off of you with that you're, big old claw. You get hit by any aerial, you're probably just dead. Exactly. But he's not, he's not, he's not too far behind yet. Just a good 30% extra credit, but. Ooh. Okay, didn't get Bowser sided there. He's been watching the Nairo Bowser box. We'd love to see it. Oh, yeah. That back air that is meaty, hurts. and that's going to be quite the huge lead for Diddy Dan. And up smash, not going to kill. Bowser's so thick. That's a big boy right there. That is the biggest boy. There is no bigger boy. There is no bigger boy. Man, heavies with projectiles, eh? No. It's just crazy stuff. Absolute nightmare. Ultimate, yeah, ultimate's been great for heavies. Yeah. This is the best they've ever been. That's yeah, very true. I, I I don't know. I think people kind of sleep on the heavies. Objectively, I don't know how good they are, but people just forget how to play sometimes. Yeah. You you lose you lose your focus for a second. Ooh. Heavies take you for all your worth. Speaking of which, and that will be Cloud taken for all he's worth. Eight is jump. He's gone. Yeah. Yeah. You know, people always talk about because tier lists we talk about hypothetical top player. You know, yeah. not getting blah, blah, blah. Started. But well, you just you know you're you're kind of just playing me you you know uh, Bermentos Diddy Dank like it's just scary. It's right. scary. It's yeah. just, they got that fear factor. You know, if they just play neutral well, they kind of just run over you. Yeah, no, you, I mean, people forget. Like, heavies, they don't have the best tools, but their tools, when they hit, are, I mean, they're heavy hitters, right? That's oh their my whole god, thing, yeah. So. That, that back air killed Cloud at 55. <laughs> yes. Last stock. I yeah, think. it took him to 92. It's oh, yeah. Like, it's no joke. And it didn't just kill, like, it didn't kill him just because he couldn't recover. It, it yeeted him it. into the blast zone, yeah. He was still in that first half of the parabola. He was oh, not, yeah. not coming down. So, anyway, moving on into game two here. Let me. Update the score, so that'll be uh, a 1 0 for Diddy Dank so far. So, moving on to game two. Yeah. Uh, you know, first game didn't didn't go too great if your name's Bermentos, but yeah. I think you just try and put that behind you, try and take what data you can out of it, and yeah. not die to this edge guard situation right here, but you're caught. Not much you could do there. Not a whole lot, no. Yeah. Maybe charge limit, but I, I didn't see the bar, so probably it was too low. I believe, yeah, I think he was uh, quite a ways off. That's a good 30%. Okay. No, Gets not. out of it earlier. Nice SDI. There's the oh, they went to Battlefield. I just realized he, he counterpicked Bowser to Battlefield. What do you think the uh, I think that is thought process? I think is. that is ill advised. You think so? But I don't know. Maybe he's thinking he can. I don't. Know, I feel like that probably doesn't help his case for juggling Bowser. No. But maybe he's got something else in mind. I don't really know what Cloud's platform setups look like outside of just up air juggling. Fair enough. There but could I feel, be something. I feel like you don't want platforms if you're trying to juggle Bowser. But I don't know. Maybe and I, also, I feel like Bowser really likes those platforms for his side B. You know? Yeah. You start for killing side B, you, but, uh, he can land a little easier without having to rely on the down air. Yeah. Absolutely. So it's an interesting pick, but let's see where he goes with it. So 111% extra credit on this stock right here. 124. Maybe even another two stock lead coming up. Nope. Yeah, after that first stock was gone, the game's been pretty even, but that first missing stock is just, it's that, that, that one's been hurt, I think. Oh, yeah. Doing a good job of uh, mixing up his recovery timings with that side B stall on Cloud, though. You know, got to do what you can to try and make this deficit back. 
It's a little antsy with the side B, I think. A little, a little premature on that, but he just back, so no harm, no foul. And that's gonna do it. The forward are very strong. Even Bowser's not living that. No, not at 160. All right, yeah. So, I mean, I didn't want to say anything because I, I just knew I was gonna curse it, and as soon as I started to say something, you got forward air. But. Man, that was only like the second two hits of Bowser Nair, and it did 15. That's, yeah. I forget how strong this character is sometimes. Yeah, it's, it's weird. Like, you know, when people think of like the really hard hitting heavies, they think of like Ganon or maybe like DDD or something like yeah. that. But Bowser's just Bowser, secretly. Bowser F Smash will kill you at like 40%. So. Yeah, Bowser's secretly like the, the most damaging and hardest hitting heavy or something like that. Yeah. There's a reason people say he's the best, like the best of the heavies. Oh, yeah. And, and it's not just his speed. No. He is absurdly fast in this game for some reason. Oh, oh and now I'll do it. What if you could have pushed to him there? <laughs> maybe. Maybe. That would have been some uh, some advanced yeah. tech there. But. Yeah. yeah, it's going to be a 2-0 for Diddy Dank. Very well played from uh, both players there. But yeah. Like, it's, it's what you said, that Bowser edge guard. Can you see my phone? I got you. Oh, you don't have the phone? Uh, I don't have the, the Wi-Fi password because he doesn't oh, go okay. there. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. All right, well. Do you want to hop on screen now? Oh, they're hopping I think they're, they're hopping on. Okay, okay let's see. We, we, we can just go play, play our game somewhere else. Yeah. 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 Holy shit. Yeah, we missed Ledge by like the tiniest amount. Like, that's the first game, man. Yeah. The Bowser, yeah. right? Game, game one, two, like you already heard. Like that first stock. But yeah, yeah. if you'd like, you might have gotten them right in. Yeah, it's called short length. Yeah, it's not funny. Yeah, it's not funny. Yeah, it's not funny.
mic is on. Hello, everyone. Stream is back. I am here. We are running stream. No one's on the setup right now, so. Hey, who's playing on stream? Excuse my yelling. We are transitioning. Okay, sorry, let me go get a match for stream. We got, a, we got a game for stream. We got a game for stream. You can play after these guys because we need to get losers bracket caught up. Let's go. Oh, baby. Um, Sorry? Yes. I lost to Captain Peru. It feels bad, man. Yeah. Well, we'll support, well, uh, we played pretty well today, man. It works. And if people want to jump, this is uh, this might be the week. It might be my month. <laughs> you think so? Oh, Sorry, we're going with the, the friend song. Wait, is it you? Uh, no, we need loser bracket first. He'll play right after you guys. Huh? Oh, sure. yeah. yeah. Alrighty, so. Arif and Captain Peru. Oh, I gotta change the score. Probably gonna be uh, Inkling CSS. What do you think of this matchup? This is weird, man. There's like two. Oh, that's right, right. All, 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 all you know is uh, Bikazia eat hot chicken. No, yeah, fair enough. I only know no, how to no, play no, Brain Dead W key character. But uh, <laughs> this just feels like two characters that are both gonna be trying to dance around each other in neutral and slowly rock up percent. Yeah, I think no. it's gonna take forever. They have a lot of like poke options. They have a lot of like uh, really fast. Uh, Aerials to get away from each other with. I actually think Inkling might be the aggressor in this match. I think uh, yeah. Inkling has better tools for sort of. I will say. Um, so Inkling has like the duck mechanic where it runs. Yeah. Um, I think that's gonna be really relevant in this matchup actually. Because you think it goes under Zare? Or kind of. But if it goes under Zare, that's a really big problem. Cause it's, it's, <laughs> I think it's also gonna be because Inkling's so slippery, it's gonna be hard for some of the to work. Yeah. Uh, I also know Arif is a very solid player and definitely knows how to use the bob and weave play style to his advantage. So it's gonna be really interesting how it goes. This is winners. This is actually losers side. This is losers round three, I think. And uh, this is losers. Yeah, it's round three because there's a weird extra round. Yeah. Also, these guys are uh, went FD first round. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense for uh, ZSS. Yeah. That's a inkling. Or ZSS really likes FD, and with the way that Arif plays, it makes sense he would go here too. Yeah. So it's gonna be a nice. Set. I mean, FD I always think makes some pretty volatile games usually, so yeah. maybe this won't take as long as I originally thought. Looking at about an 80% lead for Inkling right now, but that said, this is really good kill for him for ZSS. Yeah. 
And the fact no, he lives that up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say there is, uh, like most matchups, Inkling finds herself in. I feel like uh, there's this a bit is, of a kill power difference. Not get hurt. All right, yeah, this is the base Inkling. This is the one who, like, you know, they, they do like street art, right? They, you know, it's very, very good. This is the Inkling who uh, live left Inkling. <laughs> this is Lib Left Inkling. This Inkling has A Cab in their bio. This Inkling uh, supports the Hong Kong riots. Absolutely. Um, okay, but anyway, speaking of which, not supporting ZSS's recovery right there. In fact, sending her straight to Laza. Oh, really good parry. That was a hell of a parry. Yeah. Yeah. No, not even yet. Yeah, not even necessary. Just like, you know, I can do this. You're doing some mental damage more than anything there, but. 10% extra credit. Not too bad yet, and Inkling that is at kill percent. back here, but this is a pretty true recovery. Definitely, if he gets caught with a boost kick here. DSS really can't afford his offstage to punish that. Yeah, DSS just in general doesn't have like a really great offstage edge guarding game. Pretty good ledge trapping, but rarely are they well, going to see yeah, down down smash go burr. I mean, yeah, that down smash alone equals pretty good ledge trapping. Uh, yeah, and that move is really hard to two frame. So it's pretty dangerous. What song are they on right now? I can't hear it very exactly. well. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was trying to like. Lean my ear over to their side. Oh, I can't quite hear it. We'll have to ask afterwards. It yeah. could just be randomized. Maybe. Oh, and nice back air and disadvantage. Oh, back air out of hitstone. I yeah. will say, ZSS has broken out of disadvantage buttons. Well, I mean, you know, flip kick, of course, but. Flip kick, uh, her jab. Uh, frame one. Frame one jab, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, so 83% to 9% here, so pretty solid lead for a reef. Yeah, FD he has extra those, credit. Uh, Although, do you know that DSS is the character that will destroy you out of nowhere some days, so... Yeah, uh, Presently, doesn't really mean much when uh, she can flip kick you off. Yeah, there's like random nair flip kick shenanigans that could theoretically kill at like 30, but... Uh, yeah, that's gonna take the stock up. Uh, it, nair flip kick is pretty inconsistent by and large. Like, it can, you know, it can absolutely swing some games for you, especially if you're in a situation like this where you need uh, a big comeback. But, but against this flipping character, like, you're hard to the head. Yeah, you have to be in such a specific position on stage, and they have to, you have to do a, a landing aerial on them, too, so it's very uh, telegraphed. And yeah, very situational, but. This is still not out of ZSS's hands at all. Uh, the smaller blast zones of FD make it so Inkling can actually kill a little better on the stage, but. It also means things like boost kick. Bad jab is really big because now uh, she's inked, so he's going to be careful taking the damage right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, also that jab alone did like 30, it felt like. And this is getting really dangerous now for Captain Peru. Oh, nice air out of. Very good there. These airs are really good. But yeah, I mean. He needs to get something off them, or else it's not going to matter. Once again, ZSS does have that just random nonsense that can hit you sometimes, so yeah, it's like, not necessarily I think I over. I the first kick could kill you. Oh, yeah. It's not over, but I think at this point, you know, you just gotta make sure you stay oh, calm, you don't yeah, let this yeah, game yeah. affect anything. Okay. Just all that data, download that. Arif has got those solid punishes off of the fairy effect. I mean, Roller is impossible to mash out of. Just keep rolling. That's pretty hard to mash out of at like 80, let alone yeah. 160. 160. I don't care if you're Nairo, you're not getting out of that. I am notoriously bad at mashing, but damn, the move feels broken. Oh yeah. I feel like I have decent mash, you know, like I, I, I use the buttons and the analog stick and everything. And So the thing with mashing is optimal mash, you want to do either buttons or the control stick. You don't want to do both. Why is that? Because uh, they register as the same type of input. That's yeah, so you can bubble them up. No, no, it is like, how did, like, I, you, you basically, you either want to do the control stick roll or press A and B as fast as you can. Like, those are the two best options. You don't want to press A and B while also rolling the control stick. You, I've been like, lied to. It's, it's, yeah. I've been living a lot. You, you want to go for one type of match. Uh, it's, it's, it's easier and like the different types of match don't stack. They don't. Yeah, it only, it only counts one type of input at a time. Well, I need to do some research. So you, you want to do as many a of a specific type of input at once as possible. I so if so. you want to, if you want to match the triggers, that's fine. Although it's probably not as fast as other stuff. So probably then, if that, if that's the case, probably the fastest thing is to. Because you can probably hit A and B way faster than you can hold the control stick. And then once you see yourself well, start... Well, like, you want to hit A or B, because only, it'll only count one. Unless you, like, do, like, in your... Yeah, like, in, like, you, you can, you know... Uh, Although, like, you probably got to run If you're, like... Yeah, like that. Maybe, it could be faster. Yeah. I am uh, awful at mashing, though, so I'm not really the authority on it. I just know that you want to do one or the other. You can definitely mash buttons faster than you can mash the control stick, though, and... You know, once you start flashing, then you can maybe transition to the control stick so you don't accidentally throw out an aerial or a special or something yeah. when you get out. But anyway. The one issue about mashing uh, buttons too is you don't want to like do the wrong defensive option, right? Oh yeah. So like if you mash forward air, for example, and then you do forward and they punish you for it, then that's kind of bad. 
Ooh, speaking of Wait, that was a nice early kill. Nice back air. Vizzy actually thought of leaving this stock. This could be good for Captain Peru. Oh, yeah. And makes oh, it back. He doesn't get, that was very dangerous. He could have gotten hit by the like startup hitbox yep. of that upbeat. Yep. I mean, ZSS almost didn't make it back with, even without that, so that'll be definitely what a spell do. But now, you know, you're just looking to get some extra credit on this stock. 42 is pretty good extra credit so far. And I mean, and like, Inkling has to go for a pretty committal uh, kill option here, and ZSS is very much abusing that. Oh, you, very you don't get hit by roller. You're not a kill percent yet. Like, uh, Booyah might kill right now. Uh, I don't think Booyah is true with this percent. And, Booyah, yeah, it might not be true. It's but true about like, like a, a, the percent range for Booyah is actually like three percent. Oh, okay. he's ha okay. He's dead to That'll recovery there. Yeah. He used but, his boost click early, uh, flip kick early. So. I mean, I, yeah, maybe. I, don't, I just don't even know if ZSS makes it back there. Point is, he got about ZSS does have a tether, so it's true. It's it's hard to know when to go for it though. Yeah, uh, but he got about seventy percent extra credit on that stock, so solid use of that lead. And yeah, he's, he's up eighty percent right now. Yeah, very good lead. Oh yeah, and you know, Inkling kind of finds herself at kill percent once okay. again. Back air. Or... That was a good little combo, but doesn't get too much else off it, and he loses stage control. Absolutely. Okay, up throw, up air, booyah. Yeah. Sixty-seven percent. That uh, side beat is really obnoxious on shield. Yeah. I mean, suddenly Ari finds himself basically oh, he even gets again. In, he gets in, but gets hit by the bomb regardless. Yep. Now and we're looking at now the percent. Yeah, very even. So, kind of crawling his way back in here. Again, this you know. inkling is very content now to try and uh, stay away. And oh, that kills. Okay, so that was, might have been sus to you. Uh, a side B is uh, surprisingly strong, and inkling's pretty light. But. Normally, uh, I, I don't know, if it killed off the top, I, I would say maybe, but yeah, he might have been trying to DI out, so that way he didn't get killed off the top, though. Yeah, or he may have DI'd down or something, which uh, he doesn't want to, but yeah. we're at sort of last stock here, and, uh, you know, it's nothing, Wait, it nothing is last stock. Wait, how did ZSS happen? die? Uh, I think... I blinked for a second, Yeah, I, we, were talking, we were thinking about DIing the side B, and I think there was an edge guard situation on stage. Yeah. But, uh, These edge guards have been really good for a for this game. It's about dead even right now. Yeah, yeah it shoots even. Okay, don't get a life here. So fun fact about the ink roller plays is it lowers your movement speed by a little bit. I don't know how relevant it is because ZSS wants to be jumping a lot, but it's very interesting. I guess characters like Captain Falcon, who utilize a lot of running, uh, it's a little bit more relevant. Perhaps uh, Kazuya Mishima. Uh, Kazuya Mishima, yeah, no it, might, it might mess up your spacing actually. Yeah. Keep that in mind when you play uh, against Inkling. So, literally, oh, almost exactly even percents, A2.3 to A2.4, but finds the forward air there. Oh, nice. what a parry, that was parry nice. on the flip kick, that could have been death. He only that got a back air though, okay. so. No. Oh, and that's gonna do it. Uh, yeah, I mean, that parry on the flip kick, that was, that was that a right, 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 really close game, too. That would have been death, I think, had he gotten married that. He would have boost kicked, and it would have been over, so. <laughs> there was some good agitation from Captain Brew there, but then quite enough to get the stock. Yeah, at the end of the day, Reef just has that clutch back. Oh, that was good, though. That was good. Yeah. Reef is really good in uh, long game, too, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. You were on the stream next. It was Diddy Dunk. Whack your teammate Wednesday. What's the name of the esports sports? Wacky Wednesday? There's a lot less stories. Diddy Dang versus. Brick. Playing Brick will make you shit this. Tsukazia is nasty. I don't know. Woo! Oh, I thought you were on the show. That's pretty so long. Dude, that pair is so good. Like, you had that game. Oh, bro. Okay, so here we are. This is Winner's Quarters, I believe? We, we both like FD, like, okay, you, like I'm fine running it. This is Winner's... Yeah, this is Winner's Quarters. No, this is Winner's Semis. Yeah. And Bracket so far is pretty well caught up.
So, anyone in chat? We got Kasia versus. Hey. What's oh, up, Jordan? I'm Wait. hyped as hell for this match. Hey. Diddy Dank and Brick, two players who know each other super, super well. That's always when you see the fun adaptation. Oh, yeah, it's going to be crazy. We got two Giga Heavies. We got Giga Bowser. We got Giga Chad Kazia. So, yeah, they are very uninteractive characters in the best sort of way. So <laughs> They're uh, both playing their own game out here, not playing with each other. Uh, Bowser does require some interaction, but Kazia is, you might get to punch your face a bunch. Yeah, and what? he is, that was a good punch face to catch up there. His, uh, Bowser's face is definitely hurting. He's got Rage Drive, oh, that is a lot of percent from that Fire Breath. Yeah, Fire Breath usually doing 40 or more, and that's going to be the last of Rage Drive. Brick is not going to have access to it this stock. I think, it's I already think he gone. Went for a and he's dead! Bowser's dead! Oh my god. This, you can't let go of shield on ledge against Kazuya. He will jump side B you, especially Brick. He's always looking for that opening. Yeah, he loves his jump side B. And, that's and that'll be evening it up. This okay. is an even game now. 22% is actually bonus extra credit for Bowser. Yeah, so nothing, nothing to take, uh, Bowser, nothing to Bowser snooze at. Bowser that rage damage, you know? You take it to the bank with you. Oh, uh, but if I can drop some weekly trivia on you, these two actually played last week in winner's finals, I believe, and they went to FD each time. And Brick 3-1. Uh, did uh, they were not in the winners finals. Might have been losers week. finals then. It was one or the other. Either uh, way, they went to FD a bunch. Uh, that must have been two weeks ago. Maybe two weeks ago. Last week was crazy. I don't know if you saw. Shout out to our Instagram account where we post our Ooh. top eight. Rage drive. We'll kill here. That, holy, that killed. Yeah, right off the top, it does. It, it do be killing. But yeah, shout out to the Instagrams. Uh, whoever's doing that and posting. That's me who keeps messing it up. Heck yeah. I heard DMH was tilted that uh, he's shown up as Min Min. <laughs> nah, nah, it was all good fun. It's all good fun. Yeah. We don't talk about that. We don't talk about that. You know, it may I, be... I have no idea what we're, we're talking about. <laughs> all right, and now we play the game of can Kazuya get off oh, ledge? And the answer is yes, out. but he doesn't get anything for we it. We are even game now. No extra credit. Uh, Kazuya is not doing his homework, unfortunately. <laughs> this guy doesn't do his homework. He doesn't do his taxes. What does he do in his spare time? <laughs> Dude, he's free and back dashes like across the entire planet. Hello? Oh, you big back air to send him off stage. This movement from Brick here, kind of clean. Uh, getting hit by the fire breath, not very clean. Yeah, let's that, see if he reads his second neutral breath. get up roll. Oh, oh, he catches the roll in with that. That was really smart. That caught like, a bunch of. Options. He's at rage drive kill percent. He has to look out for this. But oh, the two frame with God. the F2. That was really good. Woo. Well played. Great timing on that to, to snipe out the recovery. Sweating. If he didn't hit that, it was. Yo, I bet you he went to training mode. He threw Kazuya off stage and he practiced that two frame oh, last yes. week after taking that out. Oh, but dude, dude, are yeah. you playing against CPU level nine Kazuya? Bro, I've been playing against uh, level nine Lucas's for a while. Uh, ah. you no, know, for no particular reason. Ooh, I'm curious. Yeah. <laughs> I was wondering why you like stayed in my fair zone. Uh, you know. <laughs> Gotta be my bracket demon. Yeah. Well. The real bracket demon was a reef was ready for both of us. God. <laughs> we're just a demon demon. Bracket. Be damned. And we're gonna see them going back to FD. That's some good fire res damage. Okay, one, two. Oh, oh he armoring armors. through jab one. That's just less really than 10%. Funny, because Bowser and Kazuya both have Tough guy. Uh, tough guy. But uh I would argue He's a tough Kazuya's guy. is better. <laughs> Kazuya, yeah, Kazuya's armor on his flash attacks is definitely more broken. The fact say. that he can just walk through rapid jab is kind of crazy. Very true, very true. Ooh, oh. Going for the dragon uppercut, not going to find it. Oh, big Dude, flame breath damage. Captain Falcon song again. Or the F-Zero uh, F -Zero medley, yeah. Dude, F-Zero medley is super based. F-Zero medley is like one of the, one of the top 10 tracks. I don't know. Actually, this game Why is pretty hard. Another F Zero game. Oh my God! Woo! The Tinder swipe to Hicks the game. The stunk there. So. Diddy Dank finds so many kills with that Tinder swipe. It's really his bread and butter. For when stocks are hanging on just a little too long, he'll read your roll and just smack you up. Dude, it's an anti-air. It's a roll option. It's a oh catching that downer option. with the up smash, Dude. but not going to kill Bowser at this oh, percent. That's crazy. Back that was very risky. Yeah, he's going to eat that fat. Yeah, stalled and air dodge. Oh, oh, big back air though. That was some offstage shenanigans, hello? Heck yeah, Kazuya can play the offstage game despite being a showdown. 
Well, I mean, the Shonos don't have terrible offstage game. Yeah, but generally they're not gonna, you know, go out there and try to snipe your recovery. Cause no, no, no. he he does not care. He, we do not care. I don't know. Like it is kind of risky because of how committal his double jump is. But that said, his double jump is like very high and. He still needs to do a lot of actions after his FB2. Kazuya at 130, though. Let's see if he can make anything happen. Now the Bowser's at 70. Rage Drive is online. It might kill here if he gets him near the edge. Uh, and Rage Drive is, yeah, that's gone. We're going to be offline. I was going to yeah. say, I was holding my breath because a lot of those uh, setups he's going for could have just zero to death with Bowser there, and all that's going to be stock. Rage Drive, just such a good tool at keeping your opponent scared, you know? It's a good, such a good tool at being broken. At being broken, at being DLC. I we'll guess. see, we'll see a nerf in the next patch. So this dude, there's no more patches. Says who? Mr. Sakurai said he's done. He's gonna go make the new Kirby game. <laughs> what about the new Kid Icarus game? Oh, that too, that too. Oh, 123. He's got no jump. Good oh snipe with a down air. Gonna make was, it back. Yeah. Solid down air. Yeah, I've seen Brick labbing that. He, uh, if you have a linear recovery, he will snipe you out with that down air. That's really smart. Especially a kill for snipe. Oh, oh, we're making the jump with the up smash, and we're gonna see a clean 2-0 from Diddy Dang. Diddy Dank in form this week. Diddy he Dank, is though, he's taking names. He's, he's saying, you know, mad respect to Brick because those games are mad close. Brick's been doing fantastic the past couple weeks. I think he plays like fourth last week, yeah, third the week like before, fourth or fifth, second of the week before. You know, he's starting to become a really high seed, kind of dark horse at this tournament. But Diddy Dank showing why he's such a consistent champion here today. Dude, D Mage is a losers right now. He Yo, I, yeah, I saw that. He lost the sprinkle. Sprinkle go dumb. We're gonna see the Diddy Dank Sprinkle uh, run back. Wait, is Adam versus Sly not done? Okay, they're still playing. Um, and where's your reef from Josh? Are they playing? Yeah. Oh, we got a reef from Josh on stream. Let's, Let's go. go. We're gonna see some Roy Inkling action. Who's on what side? Three Q's on that side. Well, like three dead. Arby. Three Q. So Arif stands, he's back on stream for anyone out there cheering for a boy. And I'm going to do score two. Inkling and Byleth, let's go. Alright, let's see. Game one of losers round three. 3Q on his Byleth, oh, not his Roy, it. and a reef on his Inkling. I believe this is round four, actually. Oh, round four. I just uploaded the match into the last game, but that was winner semis. Yeah, we're pretty we're pretty deep in the tournament. Uh, it's kind of a smaller one this week. Only 17 participants. Uh, you know, midterms do be blasting people, of course. Blast from the past. But we're going to be on Hollow Bastion, and uh, I really like Inkling in this matchup. You know, just able to close in on Byleth's range and kind of render her sweet spots effective. What do you okay, think? This is male this is Byleth, hello? We're, we're not Victorian <laughs> culture Byleth out here. It's so. kind of cringe, yeah. Where are the stockings? I'm gonna start riding. You don't you don't like male violence? Yeah. No, come on. Did I haven't play, played the, I haven't played the games. No, no. So ah, I'm see. just in it for the eye candy. Ah, I see, I see. That's yeah. why you play ZSS. Uh, I, yes. Uh, yep. Oh, yeah. That's, yep. that's a guilty. Yeah. Yes, definitely. Extremely guilty. Hundred percent. Not because I like killing people at forty. <laughs> totally. <laughs> uh, anyways, I know those two players actually played last week, and from what I heard, the game was pretty close. So. Uh, 3Q is very excited to make this run back, I think. Yeah, let's see if uh, either of them have kind of studied up on this matchup or each other's play style and we'll uh, see a different outcome this week. This is very even right now, though. Although, mm. Violet does have stage control, which is kind of big. Lots of edge guard options. Oh, but we're going to see the raw up smash, reading that spot dodge, and sending 3Q to the heavens. First stock going to go to a reef. Oh, it takes that big spot bomb. That's for the dash attack. Not quite enough to take it there. Oh, oh, big roller. Gonna he mash out. the Rattler, unfortunately. I tried to go for the second hit, but didn't get it. Okay, back throw. Not gonna have to take it. Are we gonna see... Oh, okay, no Nair. Just the forward air. And the Reef slowly working his way out of that corner. Not trying oh, to get too jumps, greedy. Jumps away from that, uh, Down till up air. Yeah, very dangerous setup, but knows better enough to avoid At it. At 140, yeah, I can avoid that, thankfully. Yeah, I got okay, fourth throw off stage. 
Byleth kind of struggling to find a stock here. Any tilt at the ledge or aerial? Yeah, he needs to turn his stage control into a stock. Mm -hmm. He's losing stage control. Yeah, look at him. Like, he kind of just swapped it. Oh, but oh, he's going to find the arrow snake. against the splat bomb. Nice. What would win, a gun or a grenade? <laughs> What would win? A bow, an ancient bow and arrow of prophecy? Or one like, splatty boy? Yeah. Just like some ink in a balloon. It's <laughs> yeah, a triangle balloon, actually. Oh, Ooh, we're gonna see really back nice air. Forward. Was that back air or forward air? It was back air to forward air. Oh, yeah, that was nice. Good follow up off the ledge. Reading the DIM. And, uh, he's yeah, he's a whole stock lead. He's right a whole now. stock lead. He's feeling real comfortable. We are diving into the heart. Who did we get? It's Xeon. No, it's Roxas. Yes! Roxas Pog. Let's go. Oh, oh right. big down air. Yeah, if he had like 10 more percent, that might have killed. I was going to say, I was seeing uh, MK Leo Spargo moments flashing before my eyes. Spoiler alert. Every time Violet goes for a dare, it's all people think of. Yeah. It's so funny. Thinking of Spargo's life evaporating. Poor Spargo. His poor spine, man. <laughs> the backbreaker. Here we go, Axe. Oh, good that back axe, throw. like makes chiropractor sad. I just oh, just barely missing the timing okay. on that neutral getup. He yeah, had to read. That was a really good confirm. Uh, getting the two hits though, though with him down here to back here. Oh, okay, good. good Gonna beat out the roller there. Nice near to get him off stage. No. Oh. Must was, have lost his jump. No, he got gimped by the up B. Mm -hmm. And um, he might, yeah, maybe he did lose his jump. Cause he, I think he could have jumped up B to recover there, but he must not have had it. Unfortunately, Bylas up B not sticking into the wall there. It looked yeah, like it I don't hit. Know, I don't know why he didn't do that there. A little bit of an odd interaction, but Arif kind of taking that game one nice and clean. And uh, that said, Bylas up B is super broken. So oh there's, my there's... god. What do you think? What do you think is a better recovery, like Bylas or Joker? Because they're both crazy tethers. Um, but Bylas gets all so the offensive Joker utility. Has more options on stage. Um, mostly because he has that counter and uh, he has like better like air speed. And guns, yeah, dude, guns are huge. Gun cancels, B reverse gun cancels. That said, Violet just straight kills you off stage sometimes, so. Yeah, you go off for she up you, and uh, 3Q you get a counter pick to Battlefield. This is a pretty solid stage. I feel like it's pretty, probably also a comfort pick. Yep. So. I was gonna ask, what do you think is the advantage of Violet going here? Because I would think Inkling gets more off the platform kind of combo string continuation. I think um, part of it is that he has more options getting off ledge. Oh, that's a good point. He has been struggling on that front. Violet is a little slow. And the out-of-shield options aren't that good, so Inkling pressure is pretty good. Violus is also really good at covering those two platforms. True, with the up B and with the up smash. His up tilt, uh, his nair, all really good at covering those. And we're already seeing a nice and even start to uh, Wait, what's this song? Is this a Pokemon music? No. Sorry, I, I, I thought I, I heard like, the Cynthia piano riff for a second. I, like... I want to say it's... Uh, what's the word? No, this is um, uh, Sora, Kingdom Hearts music. Oh, it is Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, that's why they got the piano. Exactly, it's the Disney piano. The Disney yeah. piano. Oh, yeah, full F Wait, smash, but no mean, sweet spot. Are you saying that Cynthia is a Disney princess? Is that, is that what we're hearing? Cynthia's my princess. Well, <laughs> she's at least my queen, I'll tell you that. I'd die for her. Marry me, oh Cynthia. Step on me. <clears throat> Anyways, back to the <laughs> match. <laughs> I have to ban you from commentary if you keep saying stuff like that. You mentioned Cynthia. You brought this upon yourself. And so I mentioned Cynthia because I just finished playing the remakes of Diamond and Pearl. Worth? What do you think? Um, I've heard good and bad things. I heard the music remakes go down. If dummy. you want to play, um, like the, the Pokemon from there, you want to like you know get some serious, well-built Pokemon. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of uh, quality of life updates. Super fun for that. And if you want to re-experience Gen 4 again, highly recommend because there's a lot. Gen 4 was my childhood. Yeah. Yeah. I, I recommend it. There's lots of more options to like. Uh, go get cool Pokemon from the underground. Underground? Let's Dude, go. The underground is insane. The online stuff is actually really fun. They buff the underground. <laughs> Dude, like, buffing underground, like, underground is already, like, one of the best parts of Gen 4, and the fact that they made it even better is crazy. Okay, but how is Cynthia's new theme? That's all I want to know. I mean, it's just as menacing as it's always been. But she has, she brought some even more demon Pokemon. Um, More than the Spirit Tomb, the Garchomp, and the Togekiss. Oh, it's, and it's okay. It's the same Pokemon, okay. but she is up to her game in terms of oh, the good sets. forward air to find it. Even the soft fair at 170 is going to be enough to kill. We haven't really been talking about this game, but yeah. Uh, but yeah, that stock's been kind of lingering. Not much has been going on, so we didn't miss too much. Yeah, he didn't really get much extra credit, but he definitely like kept the stock for a long while there, which is mm -hmm. good for the mental damage. And a reef, good job of playing like really, really safe, not taking any percent uh, for that. That's sad. Right now he's eating a bunch of percent from Byleth. Oh, that hard call out with the down, down oh, smash. Really good up tilt there. Up tilt to up air. 
So Josh has really good reaction speed, and you can often see it like in these situations where he like spot dodges into tilt. Mm -hmm. uh, it can be really impressive if you're not ready for it. Oh, nice down up air there. What may be a read for some people. For Josh, it's just a zoomer reaction speed. Oh. That's it. Don't, don't harass him too much about it. Cause <laughs> oh, he tried to be crazy there. Yeah, but that inkling dash, enough to get him out of the way. Man, that dash is crazy. The Reef is playing very safe. Mm -hmm. uh, you see him like sitting on that platform and just enough for he knows he's not in danger. Waiting for Josh to do something. He knows that like a sweet spot fair oh, or fair Josh. is enough to take a stock here. And yeah, Josh going for it all with that down smash. Or down air. That bomb there was very dangerous. Oh, immediately he's forward tilt there. That was really good. He gets off the ledge. Ooh, reads okay. that roll, but a little early with the up tilt. That was a good jab. Yeah, now you they swap places. On him. That means that something is more likely to kill now. Uh, that said, Violet, you know, shakes that ink off. He shakes it off. Oh, running off for that forward oh, air and gonna chase him too deep. Too yeah. That said, if he got hit by that forward air, he was gonna die. I was so. gonna say, kind of a zhuzhuang. He didn't really have any good moves there. If he. Drifted in, he was gonna get hit by the fair, drifted out, couldn't make it back. Yeah, that first up he kinda of put him in a different spot, a difficult situation, so. Um, but let's see if he can take the stock before Reef files on too much percent, because he's at 40 now. Yeah, Reef definitely Ooh, had a bit of a comeback. Good air dodge there. Down yeah. stock originally. Up tilt not gonna kill, wow. Yeah, that move doesn't kill as early as you think, but it's really good because it hits uh, really quick and both behind and above. Mm -hmm. and by, both yeah. sides of you, yeah. But now he's at the he's at the funny percent, so. Yeah, it's piling up. More. 88 now. I love these splat bomb follow-ups with the reef. It's very non-committal. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice up air. Just making sure the opponent doesn't feel safe to air dodge in or neutral air dodge or drift in, anything like that. Yeah, catching them, having to go for a defensive option, he can get in quickly with some of the back airs. And I got it. Oh, oh, if that was a sweet spot. No, that might have been the game, but I just not going to make it back. Oh, that's well, such that a shame. Well, that was a 2-0 and a handshake for the reef, but it was very close. Very close. And a really disappointing ending for him. Landing the down air, not getting the sweet spot, and then barely out of range for that up we are following this right up with Arif versus Brick. Oh, baby. Arif versus Brick. Oh, I'm excited um, for this one. Or, okay, we'll do Arif versus Brick, and then we'll do the losers or winners. No, 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 no. You guys, we need to lose rack to keep going. <laughs> you guys got to keep up. Speaking of which, where is... Bramentos. Are they still playing? Adam and Sly, yeah. Is that game three over there? I'm gonna go yell at them. Do you wanna switch up the names quickly? Got you. Brick and Diddy Dank? No, Brick and Arif. Something like that. Hold on. I'll check in a second. Uh, let me just update the names. Oh, Adam, you have to update Arif. Poggers. Alright, so. This is for yeah. This is for last round of losers. So yeah, loser of this gets fifth. Loser so of this that's gets fifth. Yes. 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 Yeah, there's six people. Yeah, no, those are fifth places. Uh, these are seventh. That's uh, third and fourth. That's third and second. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Switch back to stream. Yeah, I already got everything. I'll update the numbers too. No, no, this is a this is a hard read. No, no, no. Arif's gonna not... 2 0 brick. I'm going. I just it. want to see your roommate lose. A little bit. He did knock me out. No, sorry, knock me into losers. Where Arif then swept me up. So I kind of got a grudge against both of these competitors. <laughs> I did. You know, uh, you're the TO, so if you could make it to the either of them lost uh, or both of them lost, you know, I wouldn't be too too sad. I'm, I am also losing to them, so <laughs> I can't complain about that. They're gonna come and put me in my smash ultimate place. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna see Hollow Bastion game one. Uh, Arif not letting Brick go to FD. This is very, you know. We're a music counterpick household. Yeah? Yeah. Exclusively music counterpick household. Mm -hmm. How we play is that we've got permanent stage bands of Battlefield and FD, and then we just music counterpick each other. That's all uh. it is. But uh, let's see, A Cab Inkling versus uh, Businessman Kazuya. Dude, he got the purple suit. Yo, he's out on the club with that purple suit. Purple suit is uh, definitely his game one uh, kind of skin. When he busts out the silver suit, that's how you know he's trying to end. Oh. Yeah. He's going for all. 
Um, what, so how do you think this matchup will play out here? You know, Inkling, her tools are very short range, so... Uh, Inkling is extremely slippery, which I feel like means that uh, they can escape from a lot of Kazuya's bullshit. Mm -hmm. um, and I also think that Kazuya really struggles uh, out of shield against Inkling. Oh my god. So it comes down to if uh, Rick here can actually can get confirms or if uh, Inkling manages to slip away and get like that chip damage over the long term of the game. Mm -hmm. He's doing a good job of keeping up with him now, though, just through uh, playing neutral and getting these reads kind of on the air drift. Two back airs now. Oh, we're oh, going to get stage spiked by the up B. The up B kills him. That was Dies so at 80. That was so funny, but unfortunate nonetheless. Oh, I don't think Brick is laughing. <laughs> but, uh, you know, 130, Inkling dies to the next kind of hit. And we see... Ooh, okay, yeah. There's going to be some percents. Oh, yeah. Kazuya is combo food. That was, a, like, 340-ish. This is and the berry. Really but, good match. Oh, his match is crazy. We were talking about match He's been working earlier, on so it. Hopefully he implements some that new game plan. Arif uh, pulling away a little bit now. Kazi is at 100. Uh, okay. Not getting access to Rage Drive. Now finding it. So oh, any straight hit from him. If he doesn't get a kill here, that's it's going to be bad. Yeah, he's going to find this grab. Back throw. Rage is uh, one attempt away from getting lost, but he's going to okay, find the back wait, wait, wait. He got the back air and he kept he can rage find the suicide kill near the corner. Let's see if he looks for it. I'm going to um, say two left. He still okay. has rage drive. Okay, fine. No, next that hit will take it. That was very dangerous. Yeah. If he had gotten a rage drive there, it might have just killed that. Yeah, with that much rage and Arif being inkling, he was not the heaviest person. No, very light character. Oh, wait, he spaced that down really well. Really, really punch. well, yeah. He knows when to cancel, uh, when it cancels landing lag near the bottom. He's got to completely really spaced out. Dragon uppercut. Quick 20%. And that shield looking like an m, &M. Hell sweep. Ooh, okay, he almost lives, killing. This is, this is a really Run off there. Wow. Wow. Break doing a fantastic job of turning this game all the way around. Really smart. You can't just always count on the low recovery. Good roll read with the down smash, though. Really smart. Okay, so now it comes to who's going to get in first, and Inkling's going to get the yeah. first bit of damage. But only going to find 31%. 31, not bad. Uh, he's still kind of in a bad situation. Okay. Kazuya does get back on stage, and oh, oh my goodness, off stage. There. Tries to stage spike him again, not going to find it. Dive into the heart. We are getting Xeons, which is, you know, oh, kind of mid tier. Nice Kazuya at 91 now, 101. That's Rage Drive up. Yeah. Rage Drive is very scary here, but oh just my goodness. Kill. Okay, good trade with the back air. Yeah, trading. It's very dangerous for both these players right now. Arif's got to be careful not to get too up there in the percent, because uh, you know Rage Drive oh, will be killing. Some backdash gaming. Over yeah, here. he might just poke out with these neutral <laughs> he bees. Just ducks under him. <laughs> just grab some ink. Oh, but he's gonna oh. angle it down. He's ready for it. The adaptation is crazy. <laughs> this is very silly. Right now. <laughs> oh, he's gonna. Oh my! The roll through him. Oh. Goes for another one. That's Bro, no more I Rage Drive. I'm actually shaking my boots seeing the oh, way these two man. are running right each other right now. It's so close. Anybody can die. He actually dragged him out of that. I'm surprised it didn't space itself running off of the fair. Oh, really good recovery. He goes super low and it pays out there. Arif trying to snipe with the close. Oh my gosh, that back air would have killed. Okay, so splat kill. bomb. It is it is tense. It is tense! Oh, oh my god. god. Bro. <laughs> Gonna trade with the berry. Living to 170. To wow. Holy. Brick pulling victory from the jaws of defeat. I was ready to sign his death warrant, but from the tentacles of defeat, I know that sounds awful. Yeah, please. I know there's I know there's squids, but they're also kids. Come on now. They're also kids. I know they're squids. Mine. Oh, Smashville? Oh, 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 balloon uh -oh. count? Who's on balloon count? Let's go. Smashville, Kazia and Inkling. This is gonna be explosive. So who do you think has the better balloon popping in this matchup? Oh, Inkling by far. Yeah, yeah. Inkling, yeah. Air mobility Kazi doesn't compare, yeah. But you know, oh, silver suit. He's trying to. He's trying oh, to end it. He wants the two-o. Oh. Silver suit. But uh, let's see if either of these players really play for the balloon pop. Uh, if anybody's a big enough Chad, we're gonna start with the electric. Missing the nair though, so no big combo. Okay, he doesn't get the side B there. He's gonna eat. Uh, he's out of that combo actually. You can see both of these players showing so much respect to one another now. There's a lot of respect. Yeah, you saw that last stock. Uh, game one there. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of just like just respecting each other, spacing out, but Inkling is really far down in percent, which is very bad. Inkling needs high percent. You would hate to burns. see it, and Kazi is not even uh, in the high 70s yet. Or he just got there. Okay. Good down smashed. 
Arif always aware that his opponent's one of the needs. Roll. He's very, uh, very careful around this. Oh, gonna get the berry. He knows the up smash yeah. can't scoop, so going for the up smash instead. He had like max ink on there. That was like. That nice was confirmed. certified death, yeah. Oh, gonna armor through the stale back air, but and down B lives. not gonna find it. Really good DI there. Good to know. Stale back, stale inkling back air does less than six. It doesn't do a lot of damage, but the issue is that it scales the amount of ink on Kazia, mm. uh, which is why you'll see him go for like forward throw there. That's it's interesting. Gets a little bit of ink. Oh, oh gonna miss the attack. Wow, Orif sniping him off stage, finding that back air, and Brick. Play Kaze, you need to tech you're dead. What? Crazy yeah, DI. Oh, DI. That might actually, actually just be stale. He's hit him with a whole lot. Oh, that should be it. Yeah, down, jab, tilt, jab, down, jab, tilt, down tilt, down tilt, down tilt, down tilt. It's not down tilt. It's crouch, crouch punch, crouch jab. Crouch jab. Okay. Yeah. Uh, into F tilt. <laughs> True combo. Really cool. Yeah. Really cool. The tilt combo oh my! Kaze, and the berry. Insane. He has like eight tilts. Yep. Kind of wild. Of course, he has variations of his jab. And some command specials. Okay. Command this is normal. rage drive. Whew. So. Kazuya could get a crazy combo into a rage drive finisher. Yeah, but then he still has stock. all of next stock to contend with. I don't know. I think this is uh, okay, I think this is a Reef's game drive. to lose. Once again, really good DI. I think he's using the bigger blast zones on Smashville. Really, really well here. Um, actually, maybe Smashville doesn't have bigger blast zones than all the Oh, that's gonna be death. Yeah, these. Dude, that's Brick with the crazy the mash, but smash? Roller is unmashable at that percent. Yeah. Well, and with the bit of rage that Inkling had too made it even more true. Oh, we're ex man, an exciting game three coming up between these two competitors. This is extremely competitive for losers round four, by the way. Yeah, man, this week we've got. <laughs> this is for set fifth place. Yeah, this yep. is for fifth place. For guaranteed fifth, not even money position yet. Just uh, trying to get within. Winner, winner gets guaranteed fourth. So. True, true. That's five bones. That's your entry price right there. Yeah, next time. Uh, Pay to play again. All right, we're going to start on small battlefield. Nice small battlefield, neutral yeah. stage. He, uh, and we pushed a band uh, at base. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's not leaving that stage open. There seems a lot of space in here. Inkling's running around. Kazuya's throwing some lasers, you know. You know, all's normal. Kazuya's Another day on the combo. rift. This the, it doesn't really matter at this percent. Woo! Fair and air. Going to push him deep off stage. Oh, oh wow, like, roller into up air. That was nice. Yeah, good awareness. That roller also really convenient for getting a little bit of ink on Kazuya there. Mm -hmm. Meaning he's gonna take more damage from all these normals. And that raw up smash gonna put even more ink on him. Look at him, he's completely covered. He went from silver suit to green suit. And that berry, can he mash out? Not in no, time. He's dead. Yeah. Man, roller, I wouldn't mind if they made it a little easier to mash oh out of. Oh my god, he just raw left it went with the invincibility in front of his face. That raw dragon uppercut, yeah, not nice. a lot of it. Oh that's okay, sorry. It's because he's got so many moves, yeah. He's got so many moves. Dude, you need to like... Oh, and it, another berry. It's like a dictionary of Kazuya moves. Yep. A reef piling on the percent, though. Oh, and... Oh, hey, okay. Did he lose his jump? Must have. That was a really weird... Did you see how he bounced off the stage? Yeah, the FTL sending at a, a really downward angle, and him probably dying really down on top of that. Angle. Not going to be enough to kill, yeah, but you no can, more rage you drive. You on the right side, so... Get rid of the rage drive, that was... So huge, so huge. It's definitely causing his yeah DLC comeback. Okay, now at 180, so much can kill here. Okay, there. Just try to snipe with a splat bomb. Not gonna read that. Ooh, okay. Dragon uppercut. The percent is piling. Nice back air. 205, man, inkling. Whew. Yeah, that's looking at 205 is extremely dangerous. 215. We're gonna see 300. <laughs> oh God, no! Please. The movie. The movie? Back throw should uh, barely take it. Wow. That's going to sign him off stage. All right, but let's see what Arif can do with this lead. We're going to see a down throw. Interesting. This is still very much not over because Kazi only needs a few good interactions and he can take a full stock. So. Mm. Okay. Okay. Going to find the up smash. Not quite killing yet. Arif using his air mobility to just dance around Kazi and not let him set up underneath him. Fantastic job there. Trying to go for the Sparta kick. The F tilt, yeah, that would uh, that send him flying. Okay, just goes for the one and up here there. Unfortunate. <laughs> Unfortunate oh, SD. Oh, man. Oh, not like this. I guess he thought he was down airing on stage and uh, 
Yeah, it just happened to be slightly off on his calculations. That's a fifth place for Brick. Congratulations. Yeah, he can't be disappointed at that. It's a really competitive week, and he played his heart out. Fantastic three game set. We have Diddy Gank versus. This is winners. Winners finals. Oh baby. Why is losers always so much further behind than winners? Because there's more games to play. I mean, true, but like still, you know. Did I didn't Sly ever? Yeah. Let me refresh also, this. people who say winners are a lot more organized. I play. Uh, really <laughs> <laughs> people, people and losers are like, I, really I'm, I, I, I lost in winners. I mean, I played for a while too. Well, well, well then, yo, then the single is very good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, what the fuck is that game? Uh, that, was, that was a rough one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I was actually playing, I was playing better. You're playing, you're playing well to start. Like, where they're like, oh, I'm the winner. The last two games, I have to wait. Did he dank on a reaper? That fucking stupid. I uh, hate to see it be you. Okay, so our boy from Adam, Adam oh. forgot to record his two games. So oh, okay, good. So we are farther along on losers than I thought. So he, I think he's on. Uh, he beat Romento's. I think he's nope. going to round uh, five there. So so he beat Romento's two one, and did he also manage to beat DMH? Uh, this is best of five. Okay, they got it. Uh, this is winners finals. Did he manage to beat DMH or not? Who? Uh, Adam. Atum. He's playing DMH next. Oh, oh so he, he's okay. So he just played the one set. Winners finals. Man. Uh, I started uh, I started copying like the elegant shake thing. I got What's the say, elegant shake thing? Dude, before, every, before every set, he like shakes like a dog, like coming out of the rain, to like get rid of nerves. And I gotta say, it, it works, man. It works. Yeah. Yeah. This is this is like the most cool cool comic collected I've felt. Wait wait, what song is this? Ever. What song is it? Snake Man. Oh, from Mega Man. Oh, that's kind of fog. Bowser versus Incineroar. In, incel- incineroar. <laughs> chill, chill, chill. Incineroar. 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 Have you played Gen 7? No. <laughs> I stopped after Gen 5. Gen 5 is the best game. Really? That's a that's a hot take. You talking black and white? Yeah. Okay, okay. Gen 5 is easily the best generation. Sorry. I don't know, man. Heart Gold, Soul Silver? Or? <laughs> I actually never played that one as a kid, um, I will say. You can take some points off because they're remakes. And I'll yeah, accept it. Yeah, actually, yeah. As it's as the I think Gen Five is the best original generation. Yeah, yeah. If you're allowed, if you're not like taking any points off though, uh, it's the best generation hands down. Little Poke Walker, whew, that's, yeah. that stuff was fire. But uh, these two competitors are coming out swinging. We got Incineroar we at one hundred five already. Energy. Jump side B off the ledge. We love to see jump side B Incineroar here. Yeah, if you're holding shield on ledge, I'm going to punish you for it. One thing I want to point out about Sprinkles, though, is that his movement goes dummy. He will just juke you out of your shield with the way he uh, manages. Jumps yeah, jumps around, uh, fast falls, uses his Incineroar's very mediocre airspeed to like the Great most extent, of his ability. Yeah. Yeah. Very good fundamentals. Oh. That doesn't kill good DI. The next one definitely will. Going to oh, find the revenge counter, the and the back air will kill. Yeah, he's crazy. Dude, I will say, I really like Sprinkle's usage of the similar counter. I think even stuck with Tinder Swipe there. Yeah, you forget it's, it's a frame three counter, you know? In a different game, it might have been a good move. At least on a different character. But, uh, you know, it happens and to be on a similar. I don't know. It's, it's really good anti projectile thing. Oh, I didn't try to farm off of that, but... Uh, what do you get, an extra 2%? <laughs> I don't uh, know. Maybe I don't have to work it there. Yeah. Actually, I think last time these two played, we saw Diddy Dank use some suggestions. Um, we're missing the timing there. He might have been intentional. He might have wanted to go for the platform. Oh, we're going to find the downer! Bro, he catches his feet. Hello? Yo. He said, welcome to New York. And then stepped on his head. <laughs> Man. Uh, spring, they'll struggling to kind of find his way out of the corner here. Diddy Dank giving fantastic corner pressure. Yeah, if Diddy Dank gets a stock off here, it's not going to be too much of a depth stick. Oh, oh, big revenge counter. Big revenge counter. Danger, danger. Okay, going to snipe it out with the side beat. Not going to kill. I'm surprised they didn't kill. And that was on the top platform, too. Fun fact, side B does actually cancel out revenge because any sort of grab negates yes. the revenge effect. You will lose revenge effect when yeah, you get grabbed. Including command grabs. And that'll do it. 
Yeah, that finally kills. Holy. Off the top, make it drop. That's side B. Okay, only 40% here. Whirling yeah, Fortress, easy. yeah. Easy percent. Oh. oh, he gets him out of it? 40%. That was, yeah. For countering. That was huge. Oh, unfortunate, unfortunate air dodge. The air dodge there. I really thought he was going to snap the ledge there. Did he neutral air dodge or something? Yeah, I think so. I think part of it is that Bowser is so big that it looks like he was going to hit ledge, but he didn't. He was also facing out, so yeah. that definitely Can didn't help. Ledge makes it harder. The Magna Hand. Oh, well. Unfortunate SD, First but. First game goes to Sprinkles. Yeah. We will we'll definitely see Diddy Dank back in this though. There's uh those two were neck and neck for the majority of that game before that unfortunate. Yeah, I know. And this is a heavies matchup, so this weekly is like a heavies weekly, <laughs> I gotta say. Heavies weekly. Heavies weekly. They do well here. Heavies gaming. What do you put in the corner there? Uh, oh. got kinda moved. Game two, back to small battlefield. These two uh, don't need any complicated stage picks. They know what they want. Nice neutral stage. They were on Battlefield the first time. They were on Small Battlefield this time. Yeah. Pretty standard. Slightly smaller blast zones, meaning the game not be as long. That said, last game was not very long at all. It was no, nice and quick. that was like a three-minute game tops. And dang, Bowser has a huge get-up attack. And kind of got to put the clutch there. Oh, yeah, missing it. Yeah. yeah, that was intentional. To try adventure. and snipe you out with the down air. Smart. Very diabolical. Diabolical. Diabolical, yeah. So, F-tilt, yeah. Cheeto yeah. fingers. Oh. That's, gonna, that's pretty much true, and that's a really good scoop to get the stock there. Yeah, if you get the two frame on that down tilt, you are rewarded. Oh, oh my goodness, Diddy Dank going for his... his the insane. Diddy Dank special, though. Yeah. Let's trump into down air. Jeez. And, like, that was untackable, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, no, 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 no doubt. That was trackable? Oh, Diddy Dank recovering first. high. Gonna miss the uh, edge guard scenario. Uh, great read I thought I had red tilt. stock, uh, red sparks on the uh, tech there. I don't know, this is Bowser, bro. Nice get up attack, get in the landing there. Okay. Get a side beam though. Good percent. 130% on Bowser right now. Getting Ooh, man. Alolan Whip, broken. That's a, that's Darkest Lariat, actually. Darkest Lariat, sorry. Alolan, Alolan Whip is a side, side B, B. Yeah. yeah. I was gonna mix it up because it yeah, looks really like he's with him. Yeah. So, fun he's fact. Darkest Lariat is actually a Pokemon move. But a little whip is not. Yeah, they made it up for this they game, up, right? Yeah. Oh! oh so no, that, that up B is so laggy, Bowser can have smash. Bowser, That's dangerous. Bowser's like saying, hey, you can't do that on me. I'm going to kill you for this. Yeah. Don't try it again, brother. The only person who up B's on stage is me. Oh, and, oh, and also, God, I'm going to sit on your wait, face wait, with that down B. Uh, JB2? Oh, my goodness. He's going crazy. He's going for the zero to death. Okay, 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 okay. No JB. No JB. Oh. Nice side B. Going for the oh. I don't know what that was for, but he was cooking Probably a misinput. Yeah, I could have been a misinput. Oh, Ooh, gonna find the revenge dude, counter and the F smash. Not the sweet spot though, so no danger of killing. That did more damage, but not more. Knockback, no knockback, yeah. And for sensor even again, that was a huge comeback. Wow, these there. heavies just like kind of wailing on each other. Each Bro, doing 100% hey. unanswered, almost dying off the top. Let's see what he can do this ledge trap scenario. Side B. Is that gonna kill? No, I don't think so. Ooh, wow. Oh, dude, yep. That was fast. He was at 160 after the hit, so that makes sense. Nice job from Diddy Dank to bring Keeping that back. Yeah, 1-1. One, one. Game three. What a great set. Oh my gosh, these two, these two heavies swinging at each other. They can kill each other like any time. There's no mercy in this house. There's no mercy, dude. Bowser and Incineroar living up to their dark typings, respectively. Oh, uh, Bowser dark type? Maybe, maybe. He's definitely at least part dragon, right? But he's also going to be fire? Uh, maybe he's just a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything? He's a demon, that's for sure. All right, Bowser, Incineroar, no character swaps here. Both of these uh, players are character specialists, so they're going to be sticking onto their mains like glue. And let's see the stage counter pick. Okay, gonna go to town and city. Yeah, interesting to see this pick from Incineroar. What do you think the motive was here? You think those platforms would benefit uh, Bowser kind of over Incin? Thoughts on the stage pick? This is a heavy stage pick. They okay, yeah, he's not getting this revenge active here. I feel like that there middle platform is so dangerous for uh, Bowser's command grab, though. If it's like at the apex of its uh Yeah, I know. This is a good stage for both of them. I don't know if it's better or worse for Bowser or Incineroar, but 
Like, this is definitely a stage both of them want to be on, and so it's a matter of, like, who wants it more. Yep. Ooh, nice down tilt back air. Clean. I think part of the reason I scored one is because he actually has really good combo extensions off the platforms. That is a good point, yeah. Uh, but Bowser going to obviously benefit oh. from that ground speed a little more because of the size of the stage. That, that was, back that throw it. barely killing, eking it out. Ooh. Yeah, eats him off stage with that back air. Man, oh man. Oh, oh that was a weak air and back into, Yeah, nice darkness layer. It gets the final hit of the stock there. And no one's going to go for that balloon, are they? Hey. Uh, it's a balloon. Nice. That's a one balloon count for uh, Sprinkles, by the way. <laughs> they haven't really been going for it too much, yeah. Side B off the ledge. Really, really committing to these aggressive options off the ledge. Oh, this stuffs his jump out. This is dangerous. This oh. is dangerous! What? He, he didn't get spiked on stage? I think so. Because of how big Bowser is, I think that the majority of his hitbox... Oh, he, oh, he tried low. to He tried to snipe him. He tried to, he tried to take his entire stock at zero. Well, now an even game. Oh. Nice read on that revenge counter. And another one. Diddy Dank is starting to, starting to dial in a little bit. Yeah. Here. He knows what his opponent wants, but... Well, these four tilts are Oh, huge. stuff's out that jump. Oh, I really like that Dark Slurry there. Reading the air that's, dodge, that should not kill. Come on that's, now. Yeah. yeah. Gonna, Heaviest kill, character in the game. That's why you pay kind of sitting the center warriors because of side B. Nice high recovery from uh, Diddy Dank, though. It's a... Uh, yeah, I didn't want to risk anything on Crazy Up. Oh. He, had the, he was committing to that roll. That reason. down smash was really scary. All right, we are now in a last hit scenario for Bowser. Maybe not for Incineroar just yet, but yeah, that'll be yeah, it. Yeah. That's, see, that's why you pick Town City on Incineroar is because of that. The side blast zones yeah, are nice and small. side blast zones are super small. They will kill super early. Rolling whip go crazy. It does go crazy. 2-1 now. Uh, it seems whoever gets their stage pick uh, just kind of wins. <laughs> Uh, I don't think stage picks matter in this matchup. I'm gonna be honest. This comes. I'm down just to saying that's been the trend so far. Yeah. Like how the more you know, it's it's just a correlation, not causation. Are we going to WarioWare? Surely not. <laughs> Please. So fun fact: when I played Adam, I played Adam earlier today. Unfortunately, I lost. You to be close set. Adam, like his real name, or Adam, like a gamer. Yeah. Okay. Um, but we gentlemen to duck hunt in Pokemon Stadium. Hmm. <laughs> and oh boy, was that a fun set. <laughs> Highly recommend anyone anyone in a bright a venue. What hazards on? What hazards on? Wow, we melee now, boys. Yeah. We melee really now. <laughs> and here we are, we're back to small battlefield. I feel like uh Diddy Dank's a lot more comfortable on this stage. Um Whew. But comfort's not gonna help when the uh, these two <laughs> guys are just well, swinging know, at like, each other. If you're in a matchup where it's like stage doesn't really matter that much, I think going to a stage that you like feel like you you know get, intimately, yeah. You know the movement a little bit better on. You like feel more comfortable running around on, going for edge guards on. Like definitely comfort matters a lot. I think in these types of situations. That's a, that's fair. That's fair. That said, if you have a character who needs to have a stage, a stage band against them, make sure you do. Make yeah. Don't don't let comfort win that argument out for you. Don't let Mario go to Battlefield, no matter how much you like it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> don't oh, take CSS wow. to FD. It's that side B almost killed. Uh, yeah, don't take CSS to FD. <laughs> nice side B. Blows him up. Canceling Ooh, the wait, landing light. Jump yeah. up, Superstar. Hello? Jump up, in the Jump up. Don't be scared. Side oh, B back. shouldn't kill. Yeah. Okay. Does it kill there? Another this one. one yeah, go. that'll do it. That's not first stock for Sprinkle here. This is looking rough for Diddy Dang. Sprinkles can. Uh, oh, Tinder Swipe. Yeah, as soon as things get rough, he opens up the app so and he starts swiping. You know, things get rough for Bowser. He's yeah. always, he's always got that. He can he gonna count on that the, the hand, the handle. Oh, Whirling Fortress. Not gonna yeah, find anything. Yeah, he punishes that. Doesn't fight Whew, him. Tries to go for falling up air down. There, that would have been nuts. Okay, that forward smash not safe. You get a big punish. Revenge oh. counter. Yikes. Yikes. Jeez. That's 118. That was a big percent off of that counter. Oh, there. moves around him. Also, like, the reversal aspect of that was pretty huge. Like, that was Diddy Dang's combo that became Sprinkles. Yep. That uh, said, Bowser's not dead yet. 140 is a lot of rage, and Zimmer is also pretty close to kill percent. A lot of instant kill right now. Yeah. Oh, gonna snipe him but out with that Nair, too. though. Good awareness on the, the up B kind of losing its effectiveness over time. Mm -hmm. 
Sprinkles has definitely done a really good job of making Bowser's recovery really exploitable. Yep. Uh, oh, that doesn't kill you. Keeping Diddy really Dank nice. really uncomfortable off stage, forcing him to mix up his recovery high and low, mm -hmm. and still getting punishes. Uh, I want to talk about Sprinkles. Yeah, back throw? Not going to do it. Not, quite not, not going to do it. Too thick. Anything off stage? Ooh, almost. That double up the catching off guard there. Oh, nice spot dodge and, and a tender uh, swipe. He's gonna take every stock. Always comes back to that. Yeah, what I want to talk about uh, for, for, about Sprinkles though is his conditioning has been amazing. Uh, doing a bunch of you know aggressive options off Ooh. the ledge Ooh. or in neutral. Did you think special the down air ledge there. Yeah, keeping him on stage. Unfortunately, oh. not spiking. Oh, that's a re grab, my yeah. guy, and he knows it. Three one. Jeez. That was a really clean set for Sprinkles there. He played that extremely well, but so did Diddy Dank. Uh, you know, just. Yeah, two two top players yeah, so just puking it up. But uh, yeah, it's so pretty. Whew. Let's check on a bracket because we need to see who needs to play next. And we've got winners. Arif is waiting for Game H of Adam to finish the game. Lucina or if you're picking random? Because he did say he used to play Lucina previously. I, I don't think he's going to play. I think he's going to play. Uh, an assortment of like 20 characters. I've yeah, played. no, I was doing Sprint Lucina earlier. He's definitely like experimenting with characters again. Um, while we wait, let's just go to our between thing. Do you want to say hi to the people? <laughs> What's popping? There's no one in chat. He's going stream? Ah, you still got you six the, You can watch the VODs. Yeah, people, people, you know, tuning in. Just to hear our voices. Always hear our honor. lovely voices. I think it's a lot of people who were watching the streams actually end up coming. So exactly. Um, I'm happy. I got like two or three games on stream. I think two games on stream this week. I got plenty of odd players to look after. Yeah, time to go get that grind set. So I heard. Review those games. Also, for anyone who's like watching right now. Be sure to check out the challenge bracket if you want to see how the bracket went. Mm, updated in real time. It's updated in real time when Adam actually reports his matches. <laughs> cough, cough. I don't no think no right salt, now. however. Report your matches. Report your matches, son. It makes things easier for the TO. It makes my life a whole hell lot easier. You know what happens when my life's easier? I feel happy, and you should I take joy in that. You take joy in feeling happy? I would assume most people. Oh, other people just take joy in my happiness. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's good. Hey, it looks like Atum might have taken it. Is that, is that DMH? Ixnay on the DMH, eh? Well, um, we are going to have loser semis on stream, so. Yeah, that's losers. Yo, we are like two matches away from seeing brother versus brother grand finals. It's happening. It, they're, I, they, I, they said they wanted it to, to happen this week. They're committed to making Bro, it. Bro, if we have brother versus brother grand finals, one from finals, losers, one from winners. Like, that's pretty embarrassing for a week. I'm not gonna lie. Nah, it just it just means the meta is really developed. It means we played each other way too many times, so it's gotten too good. They're just they're just too good for us. We're, we're just too good. We're just too cracked. This is what happens when your training buddies just as cracked as you. So true. I don't know how they got better than me. He doesn't play against anyone else. So. <laughs> You're just that good. Fish, hello? I guess, yeah. I'm just, I'm a goaded coach. That just has to be it. Zoom or Fortnite Tower. Exactly. Yeah. Number one victory royale at our weeklies. We about to oh, get this kid. That's Amiibo? She was my good luck trying to That's huge. Yeah, well, he needed yeah, it against me, it. apparently. Thank you, thank you. She, she showed up today, too. I was playing really well. So. Yeah, I got to bring my, I have a Samus Amiibo. I don't have Amiibo. I need Amiibo. Are we having yeah, yeah. Amiibo compared? Like, dude, we need to have Amiibo Amiibo fights? meetups, yeah. Amiibo meetups? Amiibo money matches? Amiibo money matches. So, I actually have some Amiibos, but my younger brother let my dog eat them. Let you, did you say let your dog eat them? Yeah, I come into the room one day, and I'm like, what the heck happened to my Amiibo? And he's like, oh yeah, the dog had them. And, like, and you didn't stop me? He's like, I didn't care. I was like... Bro, you can't Those are expensive. Yeah, hello. Like Twenty something per amiibo. So my poor uh, Pikachu has like its head bald, and Mario is missing half his body. Damn. At least hey, now he's got a smaller hurt box. He's probably more competitively viable. <laughs> he's got a smaller hurt box. He's got a smaller hurt box. <laughs> this is a Mario buff he needed. 
But no, dude, the amiibos are absolute demons. What are you doing in losers? <laughs> That's a great question. What is a reef doing in losers? Who's that in losers? Hey! Tio is, uh, is uh, gonna, shaming Adam. Yeah, Bro, he already beat me yeah, once, okay? I gotta get one I can get in. How, how close was it? Yeah, game yes. three. Pretty yes. close both games. So. Okay, solid. Keeping it competitive. We played the Duck Hunt game one. It was pretty wild. No. <laughs> Duck Hunt. I'm too afraid. I'm a coward. I gotta get to my brother. He's waiting for you. Yeah, there's only one man, well, two men Honestly, preventing these brothers from meeting. Two brothers. Two brothers. Two brothers. One. Wacky adventure. There we go. Let me update the scores quickly. Hollow Bastion as starter. Let's Ooh. go. We got. People Hollow are Bastion. loving our uh, Kingdom Hearts music. Stage, the one and only. Speak for I, I haven't gotten Hollow Bastion all day. <laughs> really? No. I stick to, you know. Are you, is that your first band? I stick to the base stages. No, I've been Northern Cave first. Oh, yeah. yeah. I hate that stage. Kalos no, without Inkling the walls? Versus, Cringe. Uh, super Mewtwo. We have beige Mewtwo right now. Kind of, we have washed out Western Mewtwo, or uh, I guess Mexican Mewtwo, you know? Whenever the camera shot goes to Mexico, it gets that orange tone. What's a. Uh, so you, what, what would Mewtwo say in a shootout? What's his like catchphrase? It's, 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 it's I see now that it's not uh, the circumstances. The circumstances of one's birth are relevant. Yeah, this is like in a Western yeah, accent. Yeah, it's, it's what one does with their six shooter. <laughs> <laughs> bang bang. <laughs> bang bang. But <laughs> oh wow. Okay, really good berry. This inkling right now has only 11%. Kind of putting the work on this on Mewtwo. A reef moving around that shadow ball. I'm gonna find the berry. This matchup does feel kind of hard for Mewtwo just because of how big his hurt box is. Yeah, and, and Inkling, uh, small little boy. And small, they're like the same weight. Small little kid squid. Very box. sad. He's gonna dodge around a lot of Mewtwo's attacks. He's a, he's definitely a squid now, and sometimes he's a kid now. Well, we're seeing him squid up. I mean, he dashes across the screen. That extremely low profile dash. Super hard for Mewtwo to deal with sometimes. Oh, super hard for a lot of people to contest with, unless you have like a lot of low lingering hitboxes. But uh, I really like how uh, Adam is holding center stage right now. He's playing safe. Mm -hmm. But Adam is responding by going with these run up down tilts. He's trying to get that combo starter maybe into the fair or the nair. He's trying to catch him dashing around. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> raw down raw air. Down air. Okay. It sounds pretty crazy. Yeah, he said, I'm in hit stun, I'll just down air out of it. I haven't hit stun? No, you are. Good trade, dash attack for the roller. Not even a trade, he just won clean. Oh, oh that oh. side be barely not. So hit. that move is command grab. I'm really surprised it didn't hit the shield. Uh, I think he was just slightly too spaced out, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but the F smash can find it instead. The shield circle size is not actually indicative of where your shield hurt box is. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So when. Your, sh your shield is actually still like your actual hurt box uh, for grabs. Okay. Uh, but the shield circle is just showing like how big your shield is. Oh, okay. Not the actual hurt box. Mm -hmm. Just the percent indicator. Interesting. But uh, wow. This Mewtwo living until 160. You would not think they're a glass cannon the way they're operating right now. Uh, Inkling does have some like not very strong kill like attacks. So unless he gets a specific kill confirmed, it's gonna be hard for him to finish off Mewtwo. Hopefully one of these back airs will do it, or he might find the berry soon. Kill. Nice. Oh, I'm trying to read the mash, but Wait, I didn't should have just gone for the up smash. On. Yeah. Okay, that does finally take it. At 112 though, Whew, no, no small amount for the climb. Oh, up there, up air, not finding that. it. Yeah. So Mewtwo's air dodge is really interesting because it's actually invisible when he goes directional air dodging. Yep. It's very cash money. <laughs> yeah, Arif is playing very safe here with these. He doesn't want to give up the stock uh, too early. No, because Mewtwo can make a huge comeback if he lets him get the stock on. Yep, pile up percent super easily. Oh, the oh, reflect the splat bomb. That was so wow. smart. That so <laughs> Great awareness from Atuma. I didn't even think about that. Turning the hitbox into his own. 
Okay, that was. He wanted to walk straight into that. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, the roll behind. After yep. a certain number of hits, you are guaranteed to roll behind. It's either 11 or 13, one of the two. I think oh. it's 11. 11. That's what I've heard. Although it does, does depend on the move. There's some multi hits that they will catch you off guard if you're not careful. Is it all multi hits or just rapid jabs? Rapid jabs are the most practical application, but there's other multi hits that are like, work very similar. So, for example, uh, Korn's forward smash when you're charging has that uh, uh, saw hitbox. Yep. So that counts. Also. 11 hits of the saw hitbox, you can roll behind for free? Yep. Okay, interesting. Wow, and we're seeing a consistent trend of uh, At Adam Atum really hanging, hanging on to these stocks for, uh, oh, for quite some there? time. Wait, Did is Inkling down to one stock? Yeah, he's on his last stock. Back there should do it here, though. What? Bro, I feel like he's having memory lapses. This, these games have been so tight, so close. Holy. Jump, neutral B. Gonna eat the fair, though. Oh, no. Oh, no. Good thing okay. he, 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 he yeah, saves his jump. Yeah, teleport to ledge. Not having any of that. Dash attack, gonna beat out the fair. Oh, wow. <laughs> sneaky, that sneaky. So Teleport in into place. What a mix up. Okay, but we are not gonna take it. That was very dangerous. Good damage piling up now. 80% and some ink. Uh, I think the, oh, the berry, that should do it. Yeah. Dang, that wow. was actually a really clean comeback from a reef. I know. Adam looked like he was in complete control the entire time, but uh, I didn't a reef. I realize he was up a stock for yeah. the longest time. I feel like. Bro, I had some memory lapse there. Hey, I mean, it, it's yeah. not your fault for not noticing it because the reef evaporated that lead uh, quicker than you could say booyah. <laughs> yeah. Booyah. 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 This is loser's semis, right? This is loser's semis. This is for fourth place game, so. Okay, so only going to be a best of three. Dun, 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 dun. dun. Mewtwo. Such an intimidating song. This is why music counterpicks are a big deal, you know? Dude, yeah, Mewtwo has mad Sephiroth vibes. Yeah. Both ultimate life forms made it a vat. Ultimate life forms. We're Shadow the Hedgehog when we need him. <laughs> he reflects it, it's like no percent. Yep. <laughs> so now Inkling's got a little bit of ink on her. Unfortunately, Inkling's uh, like mechanic does not work for your opponents. So. Aw, boo. Although, I think in Inkling mirrors it does. It makes sense. That said, Inkling doesn't have a, a, a reflector, so it doesn't really matter. Boom. Oh, Ooh. gonna find the roller. That's not gonna take it. No, this kinda is a close much though. Ceiling stealing stage than previously, so. Yeah. Uh, a reef coming up. The gate's flying though with the percent. Forcing Adam to kind of slow it down a little bit. And just wondering to himself, how did, I get, how did I get so high up here? Nice back. Here. Nice back here, but oh, gonna eat the roller. To beat it out, but no. The roller has a lot of priority that can catch a lot of people off guard. Mm -hmm. I think he was ready for it with that down smash too. He just didn't let it go slightly yeah, too late. Gotta pull the trigger. Bang. Bang. Especially on something that laggy. Oh, he did pull the trigger there on that neutral. He almost found yeah, the I kill. To catch him. Nice spot though. This is the type of character where you know, they'll really come for a lost stage. They won't like try to go for an air dodge right away, and you can catch them off guard with that sometimes. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like if it's grabbed though. I don't know. I don't have to worry about too much of uh, Inkling offstage conditioning. I just flip kick over. <laughs> kick over I just flip kick over. No, I was saying when Inkling's offstage, you go oh, you okay. three projectiles because they feel comfortable offstage. You can sometimes catch them, you know, not thinking too hard. Yeah, they're very nice unnoticeable. But that throw. back throw is going to do it. The Elite Smash special, roll behind back throw. Roll behind back throw. That's the Naira special, actually. It's Elite Smash special. I don't know, man. Mm -hmm. I see I see all the scrubs on Elite Smash doing that one. Well, maybe we shouldn't talk too much about that. There's been some controversy lately about that. Uh, there, there are some pros at his birthday, but uh, we are on Twitch, so actually, shut up. Yeah, we are. <laughs> but I'm not going to talk about it. Nope. So. Anyway, but we, we can't talk about the match. <laughs> and Arif is off stage, and Adam is ledge trapping his heart out. Ooh. I love how he's just charging the Shadow Ball in his face, uh, keeping him Very super menacing, scared. Yeah. yeah. But Arif missing the down smash off that tech chase very rare shadow ball is definitely the kind of move where it does a lot of mental damage like forces your opponent to like think about what you're doing oh the rolling read down smash hitting behind what yeah no that made sense uh because he kind of rolled inside of mewtwo and then because of the pushback mechanic where yep. you can't like be in like like run past someone he kind of got pushed into it that killed no questions asked though that was whew, oh, that good was night a, down smash is you are you're gonna yeah. be here you're dead strongest smash attack points at you you're dead 
But so far, the Northern Cave pick working out for Mewtwo. Yeah, very good Sage pick. I kind of like the choice here. Uh, obviously, he's recognized that he was dying off a top of Paramount to that Exactly, smash. so just giving himself a higher ceiling to work with. Arif is just kind of taking a moment to catch his breath on that platform. Doesn't really and Adam is like... Ah, <laughs> uh, we see the taunts come out. Uh, another 30 seconds and we ban them for wasting time. Yeah, there's a timer. There's a timer for a reason. Oh, nice oh, Booyah. Booyah does take it, yeah. I feel like that... Uh, uh, confirmed last a lot longer on YouTube with his huge hurt box and very floaty kind of air oh, mobility. Yeah. He stays around in the air for a while. Yep. But okay. Fair, fair. Wow. That's pretty fair. That's pretty fair. Only like 30 damage. Uh, Inkling has racked percently almost back up, so. It's funny, man. Both of these characters, like, Dude, real Inkling glass cannons. He keeps, like, low profiling over these disables. He's gonna get him one day. <laughs> Letting him charge the Shadow Wall. Yeah, I guess he doesn't respect it. Yeah. Just wants to stay on the platform. He's, he's let in 50% lead. They have like three minutes, so it's not like they're going to like time out anytime soon. No, still he got three minutes. jumping around. But they're definitely, they're both kind of sussing each other out here. Staying at each other's mid-range. Suss among us? Red? Ooh. Tries to read the roller. Neutral get up with roller. And uh, Adam hasn't found a hit. In the oh, past okay, finally it's a grab there. Yeah. There's a lot of like kind of spaghetti uh, trying to roll oh. behind back throw. Doesn't kill. Well, the DI uh, yeah, I is say, crazy. That was kind of a little bit ridiculous, but you two now at 75. That's okay, not going to do it. Off, yeah. That's a little bit stale now too. Maybe going for another option. He's too low. Oh, but he saved no, him. Yeah, Mewtwo is really good. Okay. That was instant off the stage. Wow. That was too much going on to think. There. I know that was a crazy off stage interaction there. He dragged him down with the nair and then inkling up the. Kind of pushed him back up, put him in recovery range. Yeah, he just teleported straight to ledge. Whew. Mewtwo has actually insane coverage or recovery with uh, that floaty, floaty, floaty double jump. Oh, and, uh, yeah, and uh, like the instant up these. All right, game yeah, three. Some time to think about their bands. Final game. This is for all the marbles. Well, at least the, this pool of marbles. Yeah. Is it, well, it's uh, tournament stock for both of these. Tournament game, I should say, for both of these competitors. So, mm -hmm. they both got their whole tournament runs on the line. And back to Hall of Bastion. Back to Bastion. There is no DSR in our tournament, so. So, Arif, you're going to be able to go back here the stage that's been so well in game one. I think this is a fine stage, but this is definitely a comfort pick for a reef. Oh! I have the read, but just barely out of range. Nice back air. It gets another follow-up with that down tilt. And, oh, okay. Really good upgrade there, catching him overextending. A reef doing a great nice job down of down keeping his strength there. long. Oh. Yeah, he's going to teleport there safely. Mewtwo looks like he's in risk of doing stuff off stage, but then he just teleports and is immediately back on ledge. Yeah, he just doesn't really have to mess with any off stage pressure your opponent throws out. What's the worst thing that can happen? A splat bomb, maybe? Catching him? But. So, one thing Arif did like to do is just stand on the platform. And yeah, I think with Hollow Bastion, when he did it, he was not. He didn't have stage control. He would sit on those platforms. Mm -hmm. So, on this stage, when he has sits on the platform, he is in the middle of the stage. He has all stage control. Back throw might do it? Yeah. Yeah, that's going to take it. Two very strong back throw characters. Oh, yeah. But up smash yep. Catch you will do standing it. Standing on that platform like you mentioned earlier. Arif liking his platform uh, presence, you know. Mewtwo not too good at putting pressure on the bottom. He has up smash and up air, but floaty he jump. Has, Mewtwo has like basically sword sized hitboxes. The only thing is that it extends his hurt box, which makes it kind of risky. Very trade centric character. Yeah, DK size hurt boxes, sword oh, size hitboxes, no. and the roller should do it. Yeah. This is oh. a big lead for a reef right now. Yeah, and this game is going by quick compared to the last couple. Yeah, they did not last game, you know, they kind of just sat around, you know, like eyeing they, each other. They got down. all their reads in the last two games. Listening to Sephiroth theme, you know. Dive into the hut takes us to Sora's. Let's go. Pretty mid tier. Okay. Yep, Jab not gonna get it. He goes to the finisher early. That finisher is actually pretty safe from you two. Yeah, because it auto spaces as you rapid jab, right? Mm -hmm. Kind of pushes the opponent back. That's it. Inkling, like, has really good uh, nice, shield, nice but not good out of shield. Oh, and the down air to even it up! Wow! Yo, crazy. That so smart. And Reads the jump in. That's exactly the kind of thing you need to take this game back, because it's now basically even. Oh, yeah. 
It's anybody's game now. Before, it was uh, definitely the multi -jab Reef City. Back air. Oh, jab? Down smash. Nice jab block. The Reef bread and butter, man. I swear I see that so often. The jab reset? Yep. Into yeah. down smash after the roller. <laughs> oh, he uses the shadow ball there to step him out. That's really smart. Keeping him in the corner. Gonna roll into center stage. They both really want stage control here. So dangerous to be off to the side of these percents. So what we're seeing right now is Adam is using the uh, charging of his special there to kind of like figure out when he's going to approach. Mm -hmm. Kind of bait an approach option in and then he'll quickly kind of flash his shield up afterwards. And you can either throw the shadow ball, catching him running in, or just hold shield like we saw with the roller punish there. And at the end of the day, the more he sees what Arif does after, you know, the shadow ball pull, like the, the, the harder read he's going to have on him over time. That is a really risky scare. Nice fair over the roller. And it is a last hit scenario for Ooh. both of these. Rapid jab will okay, send way off stage. There was a jab plank there. Big shadow ball. No, he makes this back. Yeah. Oh, tries Ooh, to go for he it. Spot dodges. Uh, Arif remembering what happened last game, though, and not letting him take it. Mm -hmm. Very smart. They are both kill percent. Next big hit's going to take this. Oh, yeah. That said, U2 does have more like immediate kill options. Ex yeah, Inkling's at a bit more of a disadvantage here. Has to find a, either a really deep back air, a raw smash attack, or some sort of, sort of berry wall. Mewtwo can rely on any of the aerials oh, right now. Yeah. Shadow Ball's going to take it. There's one of them. That was really close. Really back and forth set. What an amazing set. That oh, was a really wow. nice set, actually. Those two are so even. I think every game was last off of last hit. Adam has had some clutch comebacks, though. He's been making his way through losers. He, yeah, he's been fighting his way through. Making my way through losers. There's a lot of, yeah. Look at, look at this run. Dude, dude, tell oh my. He's moving. He He's I think I could have punished it, but I didn't want to risk it. Well, we now have the losers the finals. Match. This is going to be Diddy Dank versus um, Adam. Uh, Adam. Well, like, I, can I just save a lot of shield? Probably not. But I, I, I think I'm staying here because I can play. Yeah, you, you just stay in there. Yeah, yeah I don't know how to play. Where? Oh. Watch out. Yeah. Diddy Dank is coming on next, although he might just be a second. Okay, here we go. My commentator co host left. No music counter picks? Uh, oh, um, it, did you want me to bring the um, thing for you? Or did yeah, that'd be awesome. I, I don't know where my splitter is. So I, have, I keep forgetting my splitter. I can bring it again next week. Okay, awesome. Okay, I'll do that then. Bowser, Mewtwo. I love the Combinator. Combinator in this game is so awesome. <laughs> Yo, Team H, you want Here we go, game one. This is Loser's Finals, so let me update that. Oh, I forgot to update it last game, which was Loser's Semis. This is Loser's Finals. Oh my god, combos already. So, how does it feel? Watching from the no longer in bracket side of this. <laughs> um, I mean, I know Diddy Dank is my fellow Mohawk boy. Mohawk boys. So, so I kind of got biased towards that. I see, I see. But I see that Mewtwo clearly has an advantage right now just because of about his humongous size. Well, Mewtwo also has a kid humongous size. However, Mewtwo just kind of has that sh movement. Mm -hmm. That said, Bowser is a very fast character on the ground, so. This is like a lot of percent uncontested though. Only 27% on YouTube. Um, that said, that could be kill percent from YouTube. True. <laughs> he tough guys oh through and four tilts him. Okay, Baxter's gonna finally take it. Uh, that was very much a risky play there, trying to charge the forward smash. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Good side B, gets a percent. Um, nice job shielding the Shadow Ball there. Yeah, Shadow Ball can be very impressive for Bowser to deal with. That said, he does have that command grab. Gonna catch him there. 
really good. He's trying to get these uh, teleport two friends. I know teleports can be really hard to catch with two friends, uh, especially because Mewtwo has a lot of like mix-up potential with the way he uses it. Just because of how floaty is. Nice up air. It's gonna even the stock count. And this is pretty even for Bowser right now. Forty percent is not a lot for Bowser. Ah, uh, the two percent landing damage. Even on like 120%, it's still an even game for Bowser just because of how hard he hits. Oh, yeah. Only takes a few. Ah, you get some chip damage there. Holding ledge too long. Oh, did you see that? It was really smart. So Adam did the first hit jab and then ran away. He knew Bowser was going to tough guy through it. Exactly. Nice forward air off the ledge. He keeps with these disables. This is good. I kind of want to see it work, but at the same time. I don't know if Diddy Dank is going to let him. Okay, fall off Nair, oh, and he doesn't tech it. Okay, unfortunate. That move can be really hard to tech because of how many multi-hits there are. Is going to kill him? That does kill, yeah. Very side of the stage there. This is perfectly even. After a very dominant first stock, Diddy Dank has made a lot of adaptations, and this game is extremely even. Okay, up B there is approach option. And yeah, if you two sees that fire and just runs right over it. And he's seen a lot of flamethrowers in his days. And you're fighting like Charizard. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> it was almost three grabs in a row. Okay, down to up air. Doesn't get that forward up smash there. It's just barely whip. Oh my god. Oh, dude, that was a hard call out. Actually, Adam did not win This is best of five, so we can go into the potential game five situation if this game goes long enough. Or set goes long enough. Hopefully, this doesn't go too long, though. I would like to close the venue on time tonight. <laughs> The scenario of you want to see as much gameplay as possible, but also closing up on time is very essential. Yeah, very essential to close on time. <laughs> We're going to FD. Um, I feel like this makes sense for you two. You get a lot more like free pressure with your shadow balls, but I feel like he also used the platform really well last game, so it's kind of interesting to me. I also think Bowser likes to just scrap on the stage, so. Yeah, very evident on the 15 seconds in, already 75% racked up. Oh, oh that was really nice, yeah. Catching off guard was crazy. Oh, oh wait, no, nope, it's not, it just Yeah, did. nice mash from there. Diddy dank. Oh, nice fire breath catches that teleport. Ooh. Yeah, he was above 100, and he waited on ledge too long. Uh, maybe he went for a drop from ledge, actually, but really nice oh, forward touch. Nice. This forward uh, FD counter pick not winning it right now for Adam. Oh no. A very different game from the one we saw game one. Yeah, I think uh, he's realizing he needed those platforms. Oh. I don't know what he's going for, but that was potentially going to be cool and just didn't get the follow up, so. I think it was if only, if only. Yeah, or, yeah, he needs to get a kill like, really soon, or else Bowser's gonna oh, win this game. God. Yeah, Ooh. I was gonna say, I don't feel like this is gonna kill. That back here does <laughs> kill. And Mewtwo is unfortunately above 100, so he has to be very careful how long he saves his match. Okay, that Nair barely saved his ass there. <laughs> yeah, see? He did the jab check. Yeah. So. For those of you who don't know, uh, in Rivals of Aether, it's a different fight again. Uh, if you parry someone's jab, it's actually uh, like safe if you run away afterwards. So a lot of pro players will get their jabs parried and then just run away. And that was kind of similar to what uh, Adam was doing there, where he would jab and then run away because he didn't want to get tough guy armor through the multi-hit. Very risky. Hey, if he dies, he did like, kind of put even up the game a bit there. Whoa. But yo, see we're seeing yo, we're seeing some friendly taunts. Hello, Dude, things getting spicy here. He tries to shadow claw through all that fire. Doesn't quite get it. Okay. Oh, tries to get that down 
Yeah, she, yeah, he's going for a lot of very risky reasons. Very tight situation right now. Oh, uh, that was a really nice back here. Really good patient wait there. Uh, he's trying to reflect this fire. I'm surprised he didn't get any punish off that fire. That fire is surprisingly safe. Oh, these little shadow balls. You're getting nice follow ups off them. Yeah, he's definitely using them over top more. And this game was even for a second there, although Bowser with all this rage. What is it, two frame? Mewtwo is extremely viable or liable to a death right now. Uh, oh, oh, that's gonna be good. That, that's definitely a kill. That was game two for Diddy Dang. Uh, this is a game five, or uh, game best of five game, so. Uh, okay, we're going to Northern Cave instead of FD. I feel like that's a lot better for you two, but at the same time, I think he wanted to take away the potential uh, recovery mix-up options on those uh, side platforms. So we'll see how this works out. Water power. Water power. Hydration. Ah, uh, uh, yes. Yeah, stay hydrated, fellows. I'm gonna take a drink too, actually. I too shall take a drink. Uh, and we got One Winged Angel, the only good song. Actually, no, they're all good songs. You're out of your mind. I was kidding, I was kidding, I was kidding. Crucify him. I was gonna say, man. Take off on Nah, this is, this is everyone's favorite song for the Sephiroth stage, for, for good reason. And here we go. So Adam needs to get a reverse 3-0 in order to take this set. Which honestly is just super difficult to do. But once you get that first game going, that's when you build that momentum and you're like, I can do this. These games have been very close, but at the same time, we saw in game two there that Diddy Dang made a lot of adaptations on that first stock. Mm -hmm. So if Adam can deny some of those adaptations in this next game, he might have a chance. Over there. Really good get up attack that is really smart. Using the very fast teleport recovery to catch him off guard there, yep. Mewtwo has one of the bigger... Yo, Derry's here, let's go. Oh, let's go. Cheering for our boy Diddy. This is game three in Loser's Finals right now. And Adam... Forward here. Yeah, that forward is huge. Dude, he's got swords claws, hello? Oh, wait a minute. No, that's not gonna kill. Teleports to stage, nice. But that dies for kill though. <laughs> yeah. Diddy Dank is very patient at ledge and it definitely is paying off right now. Oh, nice up air. Oh, the downer beats up his up tilt there. Forward air. Up air? Oh. Oh, he tried to go for that downer. Yeah, he's gonna stay away from that fire breath. Wait, how's your side? Wait, okay, Adam has a lead now, I didn't realize. That was a very clean stock from Adam there. Okay, down throw, or down tilt oh up air. Oh, you should have oh, gone no. three. Down my game. Yep. Yep. Still came to see this matchup in Melee. <laughs> okay, so Adam does get a game. This, this is, this is game four Adam. This is I wonder if this is where the comeback begins. Like I said, once you, once you get that first one going, that's when the momentum goes, and it gets kind of scary on the opposite side. Uh, yeah, we got some character ban noms, which unfortunately we don't have, but... When is 3P versus It's Suck Stream? Oh, you want me to stream that? I can. <laughs> well, okay, here we go. Game four. This is very close right now. This is um, Diddy Dank's first counter pick. And, okay, we're back on small battlefield, which is where we were started, I believe. This is definitely Diddy Dank's favorite stage. He's been going here all day. It's either that or people just keep counter picking his favorite stages. Or banning another. Jane Air? 
Hashtag, nice. Yeah, nice. And this combo is still kind of going. Okay, find oh. a counter breaks with that down air. Oh, nice follow up. Okay, well, he takes back the percent lead. That was two big attacks from Bowser. going to take back the percent lead. Up tilt. Dude, that back air, if that hit, that was literally his stock, but really good drift away. Give me the beat boys, give me my soul. And drift away. And, okay. Extremely even. Oh, the follow up. Even on the tech. <laughs> third time. Oh He's God. trying to, yeah. These platform extensions are really helping out Mewtwo right now. And, yeah, that was nice. Confusion into Shadow Claw. Oh. Yeah, I know. He makes it back. Mewtwo has insane recovery. Um, but that was a really good attempt at killing him off that. Holding ledge 2 option there. Is this a three house of music? I think so. I don't know if this is a care, like, music counter pick because they went pretty instantly to the stage. Oh, you know what it is? Uh, do you think has headphones in? He can't hear, so he's got AirPods in. Yeah. So he doesn't care what music they have. Well, honestly, that's fair. I was talking with him earlier, though, why he's wearing headphones, and it's just to cancel out all the noise around him. But there is a lot of noise in this yeah. venue. Which is honestly fair. I should have done the we, same We thing. are a large part of the noise, to be honest. <laughs> Commentary is very close to where they're playing, so... Oh, that was Shadow Claws when I take it, and this is a huge lead right now for Adam. This might be the adaptation he needs to take, uh, like reverse the O. Follow up on attack. Yeah, this is big percent. Oh Bowser is not able to get anything right now. Whiffs that swipe there. Okay, doesn't get... Oh, had a really big back air. Oh, nice Did he spot dodge, dodge the confusion? That was really important. Oh, no. He reads all these defensive options with that down smash right there. Nice forward air. Okay. And the shadow blow. Yeah, that's gonna take it. Okay, well, this is game five. That was a very dominant game four, though. Mm -hmm. And here's the thing, like, a lot of people, when they're down behind, they want to try and get, like, that smash attack out to try and finish off the stock to get something. But a lot of time, that can actually be the downfall of someone. Yeah, when you mash, like, not safe stuff into someone when you're behind even more, it just mm -hmm. seals your fate. Hey, he's going back to Bowser, yep. I, I feel like he definitely took a little bit of time to think about whether he was going to go Pikachu or not. But no, um, so Adam also tried taking a Pikachu for a while, so he would actually know that match better than you might expect. Well, here we go, game five. High and five. we are on Hollow Bastion this time, yeah. He realized that those two side platforms were getting a lot of extensions, and I want to try something different. I kind of like this platform layout for Bowser, because he still gets the, like, extensions that he needs, but at the same time, um, he doesn't have to worry about crazy shenanigans. Oh my goodness. Only 14% on Mewtwo right now. And yeah, these fire rushes are punished for really hard. We're almost seeing Bowser kind of get sucked out a bunch. A lot of Mewtwo's options are just a little bit faster than his. And you saw with like that dash attack and some other stuff. And he's kind of struggling to get anything off of here. Oh, what's that downer attempt? Okay. Okay, nice jabs. Timing that forward tilt is really hard against Mewtwo because of how uh, flexible his recovery is. Did he think actually did a good job being aware oh, that he misses the tech again? Being aware that Adam actually likes to go for a drop off ledge, jump up, and then throw there. Oh, he got his jump clipped. Oh, that was oh really smart. That fire breath was really clean there. Yeah, down tilt there. Pretty free against Bowser. I always laugh at how big Bowser's snare is, it's so comical. <laughs> oh yeah, this is not looking good. Oh, oh no damage taken away from Adam. Mm. Okay, four tilt. There we go. Get some damage there. Oh, that Shadow Claw off the ledge again. Do a lot of work for Adam's matchup. Oh. oh. He finally gets it. He's been looking for that all set. He finally gets it there. The disable. 
into Smash Attack confirmed. And he, here we go, once again, the last dog, he's panicking a little, he's going for the forward smash and trying to steal it. I said he does kind of have to get something crazy to tie this game up right now. And he's been losing a lot of news with reactions. Oh, that was a hard sentence to say. <laughs> That's not quite enough to take it. That move will red spark really early, even though it doesn't kill as early as it tells. Okay, oh, there we go. jumps over it. Okay, this is now an even game. Uh, this is extremely tense, and we felt the stage transition to, you know, go with it. And the music too. Mm. Oh yeah. This is a lot of percent right now in Bowser. No! Oh, did he not have his jump? No! That was unfortunate way to end it. <sighs> Unfortunately, he did lose his jump there, and that's going to be a 3 2 reverse 3 0 for Adam there. That was a crazy set. Oh my goodness. Should I stop my Valorant rank queue in order to watch that? <laughs> in order to watch that. You should stop yeah. your relevant rank, rank queue to watch this. Hello? Pain. Oh, rip Diddy yeah. Dang's hands. Oh my god. So we have Grands and it's the brothers in Grands. We got Sprinkles and Adam in Grand Finals. Two brothers. Nothing between them. The world at their feet. More specifically our weekly at their feet because they are fighting for first and second right now. <laughs> Grand Finals, there we go. It's okay, I still love you. <laughs> hey Adam, hey Adam, Adam, Adam. Please don't bracket me, said I want to leave in good time. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll six up, six up, six up. <laughs> Coward, I'll allow that. <laughs> Sprinkles versus Adam. Oh, I got a chance of scores. We got Incineroar versus Mewtwo. It's a full on Pokemon battle out here. So, Pokemon fans, who wins this matchup? Hmm. We got Dark type, Psychic type matchup. Oh. Now, if only Hazards weren't on, then we could go to Pierce too. If only. We might. Psychic is zero times on Dark. I, oh, big, big thing. Oh. Thank you for that Pokemon matchup knowledge. Ooh. And that was a lot of damage. That was a huge revenge. Holy. Oh my. Wait, did what? I just taunt his face? Hello? Yo. Oh, oh taunt to body. Hello? Oh my god. Man, if you if you didn't know that these guys were step related, this would just be This is a little bit rude. You know, a little brother disrespect here. Oh, he tried to wait for me and got a Lolan whip for it, so. I really find the uh, way Adam uses this double jump uh, second confusion interesting. Because I don't like know what it's doing for him, but it, it always seems to work, so. Oh, no balloon, no balloon, no balloon! No balloon, what? Oh, he throws away the balloon to get the taunts in, unfortunate. And oh, that was a big, that was a forward hit, right? Yeah, and VGC in some ways 10 times better than YouTube but now? It is not so true in this game though. The only reason YouTube isn't using VGC is because uh, one, most of the time he's not legal, and two, when he is legal, he takes your uh, restricted slot, which means you could have a Xerneas instead of a YouTube. Ah, uh, okay, we've got the balloon pop. Okay, very respectful balloon pop. <laughs> you see he's bad in VGC? Oh, I haven't played BGC too much with uh, Ubers, so... I haven't oh played... my... Who, who does that? Who does Perry, is disabled. Uh, Perry disabled to disable the disable. Damn, bro. And... 
That's not quite the game there, no. Oh, or he's still got rather. no. He's got two stocks. Wait. Yeah, wait. Adam took a whole stock. No wonder he's been messing around. He is playing with his food. He's just having a good time with his little brother, you know. Nah. <laughs> Should be so many little brothers, Jason. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that super low shadow claw. First game goes to Adam, and we might be here for a long haul. Oh boy. <laughs> I want to go home and eat. Same. We're going to Town and City. As we mentioned earlier, this is a very good Incineroar stage. Um, a Lowland Whip just kills so early. With how white Mewtwo is, he might die at 50, I'm going to be really honest. Oh, God. Here we go. Go! And yeah, very respectful charge in there. Gets the balloon. Oh, let's go. Hell yeah. I think Adam is up on the balloon count. So, you know, translate into a victory. I think it, it might just. Um, oh, misses the disable there. Swipe. Nice. Oh. Yeah, gets another one there. Oh, we still got a oh, No, we got it. Yeah, pretty much dead. And that's the thing, like, Mewtwo just being so floating and able to recover really well can just cover those low down options from the support. Oh, 100%. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Looking like Rob with these down tilts, holy. Oh, dude, you see these Beaver versus off stage? He is taking his sweet time getting back to stage. He's Oh, <laughs> Backer's gonna take it. Yeah, it makes sense when we counter pick here. <laughs> that was so silly. Okay. A little, just the tip of Backer there. Okay, counters are not working out here. I'm going for something silly. Okay, one, two. Nice back there. Oh, oh dude. The Cheeto fingers. Extra cheesy. <laughs> he, he nared on his shield. He's still oh back here. Oh my god. Oh, dude, is Sprinkles turning up right now? He's using his counter pick. Did he just taunt during his invincibility time? I mean, if you're going to taunt, this is the best time, too. You can't get hit. So. Yeah, they send a mental message one way or another. Oh, oh my and, god. You know, that mental message, I think, paid off there. Catching him with the disable. Gets the balloon. balloon. Okay, back here off stage. Oh, nice that get up attack. We've seen ten ten. Adam is really good at using that get up attack. Maybe using the long range of Mewtwo's little tail attack there. Or tilt. Oh, that nair. Oh no, he doesn't ah. get the follow up. And Mewtwo's too light there. He should have gone for maybe four air. Oh, <laughs> that scooped. How did that scoop? Are you kidding me? <laughs> These characters are so silly. Water down the wrong pipe. Yes, sir. I was just so excited to see you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very excited to see where this uh, whole sibling grand finals goes from here. Oh, yeah. It's two characters that you don't really see too often. No, no. We got a lot of character diversity at this weekly. Mewtwo and Cineroar Grands is not something you expect. <laughs> the counter red. Oh, yeah. Northern Cove, I feel like... <coughs> well, I mean... I learned the hard way today that Mewtwo is pretty good on oh this stage. God, and Cineroar doesn't give a shit. Yo, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I was going to say, you, you, you were right there? Mm-hmm. He, uh... Yeah, and Zinar has such powerful kill moves. Mewtwo's so light. Like, it's just... He oh dies at some God. absurd percents. That was, what, down tilt, forward tilt? Killing at, like, 70 before the down tilt hit? Yeah. It's crazy. And he's just pushing this lead, too. Lapped him in percent there, but now... Ooh. Oh, my God. I respect that so much. <laughs> the going for the spike yeah. there? Yeah. Oh, my... He almost did the chop again. That uh, Incineroar down air got buffed, like... Lots and lots of patches are going out, but it's so much better now. 
The sweet spot used to be tiny. It used to be the bottom of his little paws there. It's so satisfying now, though. Oh my! The tech? The, um, is that attackable? It, yeah, I think I think I saw blue sparks there. So, by Adam's own words, he just sucks. Missed the tech, unfortunate. Yep. Low whip, grab low. Yeah. Incineroar actually pretty scary uh, when he's ledge trapping you. Like oh right my here. god! Don't you dare. There's one place where being the slowest character in the game doesn't really matter, oh and it's when you're ledge trapping. Lord. Oh, and yeah, Mewtwo doesn't quite die. Stop. That man, that F smash when it's sweet spotted, I think, is now the third strongest F smash in the game, if I remember correctly. It's uh, pretty crazy. Almost killing Mewtwo at 43 on Northern Cove, which has very big blast zones. Calling it Northern Cove. Oh right, my bad. It's Northern Cave. <laughs> I always, I don't know why I always get like maybe the first time I saw it, I read it as Northern Cove, and it just imprinted in my brain. But I always think of the stage as Northern Cove. Ooh. Oh god. Gets the revenge counter once again. <laughs> and pretty much, I mean, so many things kill Mewtwo right now. Ex including that, I think. Ooh, except he oh, got man. he got the wrong hitbox there. Didn't get the drag. I don't down. know why, I'm just anticipating the karate <laughs> chop. No, nope, I was wrong. Uh, just uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> Alright, well. Two one so far. Sprinkles maybe looking to send us home early. Uh, yeah, should be a score left. Going to going back to Northern Cave. I almost said Cove again. <laughs> it's, just, it's it's imprinted in my brain as Northern Cove. I like it better as Northern Cove. You know, I'm gonna call it Northern Cove. Yeah, went back to Northern Cove. You know what? You make the meta. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You develop it. We, we're all our own our own meta shapers. Don't just accept it for what it is. Exactly. Defy the meta. Anyways, uh, oh, stringing together a nice little, nice little string here. And we gotta be aware that this is game four, but this is also the chance at the um, sprinkles just winning the whole. Oh yeah, this this could be this could be the uh, this could be the whole tournament right here. Exactly. I mean, just one more game, but I don't know. These yeah. games have been really close, so it could go either way. I think Sprinkles kind of has the momentum on his side oh. in the past few games, yeah. and that's not going to help get the momentum back that's on like Adam's 60 side. Damage. And it almost killed at, like, 40. This matchup is so offsided. Oh, the nice catch. Oh, the great catch. All right, well. Yep. I, I, yeah, see, I want to say anything. I was like, speaking of swinging the momentum back in your favor, that up air is definitely going to help. And see, the karate chop was just a little delayed to the next Oh, game. I see, yeah. yeah. You, had, you, had the, you had the read, but... I'm okay. like Robin, I'm only three steps ahead. It's one-sided. So is immune to psychic stab. I already know. Well, look at this man. He's doing it. Definitely looking immune to all of Adam's approach options right now. And man, at kill percent for a whole lot of stuff right now. Trying Even the two frame with the down tail. Let's see what's oh, oh yep. man. That did like 54 and also killed. <laughs> Alright, well, Adam is on his oh. tournament stock now. He taunts like a real man and gets the stage spike. Oh, I'm telling you, he has a true combo. He, he, he has taunts to body your little brother. I've never seen this before. Usually it's, it's taunts to, to get me. bodied yourself, you know? Yeah. But something about him, every time he taunts, it like powers him up. I mean, some people are like that, like uh, Esam, I, I think he's pretty much like that. Hey, fair enough. They're all, it's maybe, maybe it's just Pokemon mains, you know? Maybe. Maybe Sprinkles could uh, try a taunt here, seal out this game five, or game four. But, I mean, he might not need it. Some crazy, oh, oh I was just gonna say, no. some crazy revenge oh. shenanigans could kill Mewtwo right now, oh, my double God. stacked. Oh, okay. when he used it on forward. And oh, oh and that's gonna do it. Sprinkles said, go home, everyone. <sighs> Go home. It's he over. Needs to pack Give me up. my 20 bucks. Jeez. Yeah, that's, just like that. Just like it, 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 all, it, it all ends so suddenly with that upset. No, no, that's just no, the win. Reset. That's just it? That's it? Yeah, it's 3 1. 3 1 sprinkles. Pack up on time. Let's go. We're done on time. Let's go. Absolutely High five. brazy with it. <laughs> High five, Tim. You won. <laughs> High five. Yeah. We're done on time. Let's go. Uh, okay. Well, with that said, I'm going to end the stream. All right. I may or may not
stream some Pokemon stuff later tonight. Ooh. Um, for those of you who are interested, uh, the Pokemon League that Josh and I, Tios, are a part of is having our winter uh, playoffs event uh, the next couple weeks. So I might be streaming some games from that in my free time. But with that said, uh, it's been a great event. Uh, really close games all around the board. So I'm going to end the stream here. And I'll see you guys all next week, I hope. See you guys next week.